Yeah, yeah, I'm blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Anyone better yeah, to grateful, grateful, myself, grateful for that, for sure. I mean, yeah. we've been trying to tee this up for ages. Well, so hard, bro. We've been trying to get you for ages, but obviously you've been busy with your fights to, and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. life, and, life and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happens, some of it, but it's good timing. I mean, I leave next week. Yeah, you know, so. Thailand, eh? Yeah, yeah. Thailand, oh, in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. yeah. So off to Thailand on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there for a two-week training camp with like some of the best countries in the world. We got Cuba, USA, GB. Um, so I'm gonna be sparring like three of the top ten guys in the nice. world maybe up to this tournament. Nice, that's so bro, that's sick. good work. It's that's gonna be insane. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be insane, and like especially like that close to a tournament, mm. there's no better work you're gonna get than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, facts. There's nothing that's gonna prepare you more for those type of rounds. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So, so wait, you will be sparring them and fighting them as well. Is that what happens, or we just yeah, fighting guys you're not yeah, yeah. So the thing is, you are sparring these guys, but yeah, they are your competition. Oh. So that's but, what happened at the last camp. So mm. we, we had the camp in Italy. Um, there was about 33 countries yeah. at this camp wow. and they do what you call comp spas. Right. And basically right. <clears throat> it's like a simulation of a fight referee. Mm. Um, you still wear a headgear cause obviously you don't want to get cut leading up to the competition, yeah. but it's like yeah. small gloves, everything like that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, and every day you're with a different country. And yeah, you're sparring these guys and you're going into these comp spas and yeah. it's like the same feeling as a fight. Right. Um, but you know in the back of your mind like you could be facing these guys yeah, and it turns yeah, yeah. out the guy that I had the hardest spa with who I found the most challenging yeah. was the guy that I fought in my last fight at the last qualifiers in, uh, oh, in Italy right. <clears throat> yeah. yeah so like I we had a tough spa and I knew I was fighting him leading up to that fight Yeah. and I was like shit this is going to be a tough fight yeah. Yeah. I just knew I was yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah I know yeah. what to expect yeah, but yeah. um even because it was a fight, I feel like he brought even more energy. Yeah, know, yeah. Just because yeah. the stakes were high and yeah, we were two 100%. fights away from qualifying for the Olympics. And, wow. Uh, fuck, bro. Yeah. Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Surely, when you guys spot, like, in the back of my... Like, do, do people go, like, crazy because they know... And these guys are going crazy, bro. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kill bad. or be killed. Yeah, it I really is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's crazy that you guys are sparring in the small gloves. Uh-huh. Fuck, yeah, yeah. that's I mean, crazy. they... So we fight in 12s, we we're sparring yeah. in 14s, but still, even with the oh, 14s, yeah. I feel like that's still enough. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough you can still to... knock people out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People yeah. still get knocked out in sparring. Like, and, yeah. People get knocked out at 16s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. Yeah. So, and when you're a week out from competition, if you're getting drops, yeah, that's, you shouldn't be going. You shouldn't be going 100% because yeah. you'll yeah. get dropped again. Exactly. Bad so also something. in the back of my mind when I was mm. having those spars was, yeah. okay, just don't More get defensively just, aware. Just yeah. be defensively aware. Yeah. Get through the spa. Yeah. Make it out healthy with no injuries. Yeah, that that's kind of how I feel as well. Like when I'm when I'm getting closer to a fight, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of like my like second to last sparring and the last sparring. I'm like kind of I'm still playing my game, but I'm still like you know with certain guys. I'm like fuck. I know like oh bro, I, if I if I stop pushing because yeah. I know I'm I'm in fire right now because mm. I'm fighting. I want to be sharp and I want to get my good work out here. But I know this guy might start swinging back and yeah. like you know, if. You know, if exactly. I get caught, then it's fucked, and I won't be able to get that's my fight. That's the whole camp. For yeah, what? that's yeah. it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so exactly. I get I get a, little, a bit more cautious with my with my sparring. For sure, for yeah. sure. I find sometimes that I'm actually a lot more cautious when I'm sparring the novices. Yeah. Because uh, they're the guys that will do some stuff that's real out the gate. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Facts. They'll just do they some wild shit. They'll spaz yeah. out. Yeah. 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 yeah, And exactly. sometimes they know, like, oh, fuck, I can't reach this guy, and they'll do some random shit, and they might catch him. Yeah, and I like what you said. They feel like they got something to prove. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I feel yeah. like a lot of them do have that, because yeah. they're like, oh, say they're sparring one of the guys that's in the UFC. Yeah. Like, oh, I gotta prove to this guy that I'm good. Yeah. yeah. And it's just yeah. for them to go brag, you know, like, oh, I hit yeah. him. Yeah, I hit him with that. Yeah, they're just gonna that. go home, tell their homies, yeah. oh, I yeah. beat up yeah. the bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Exactly. You got fucked up the whole time, you know, you're gonna speak about <laughs> yeah. that. You're gonna talk about that one. I gotta go that one shot. I gotta go that one shot. Exactly, so. Bro, yeah. I sparred Taj once. I remember and you I were right there. Video, I think you were yeah, there too. Yeah, I was thinking of video. Yeah, he took a I landed fuck all. I landed one punch on him. I was getting fucked up. The only time I, I got off on you a little bit was like when you gave, when you came in. Oh, in yeah, yeah, that was the only yeah. time I like landed a couple punches in there. <laughs> when, when we were playing the distance, I was like, yeah, how the yeah, fuck yeah. am I supposed to hit this guy, bro? <laughs> and I was I mean, scared, yeah. bro. I'm not going to lie. I was like, because I seen you spar, so I'm like, bro, I'm going to get fucked. Fucked up right now. I was like, I was about to whoop my yeah, ass. Nah, but you were, nah, you were nah, nice with me, so I appreciate I'm not like that. that. It, it's a, with me, it's an energy thing, you know? Yeah, like yeah. If I've got someone that's bringing a lot of energy yeah. and yeah. they're trying to push the pace, then yeah, cool, I'm going to match that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, see, I, I seen yeah. you with Harry, bro. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, you guys, oh, oh, man. He's one guy that 
I'm always nervous going into those bars with him. He's not even trying to hit you hard. Yeah. And that's the scary part. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, wearing these 16 ounce gloves. He hits you, and I'm like, I could swear his knuckle just hit me. <laughs> yeah. you know, like, it, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah big exactly. guys is yeah. crazy. Because when I spar some big guys, well, even when they throw your leg kicks, like, Fuck, they're not throwing it hard, but it's so heavy, bro. It's just like, oh, sh- I like, yeah. I like slip. I'm like, fuck, bro. You know, oh, it's funny. Uh, so I started with Muay Thai. Muay Thai is like my yeah, background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was uh, eight years old, I started with a Muay Thai gym, and I did that all the way up until I was twelve. Yeah, mm. and then that's when I took up boxing. Mm. I just found that I was always better with my hands, and yeah, the thought of getting kicked in the legs kind of. But then it was like end of last year, um I decided to chuck the shin guards back on for a couple of Oh yeah, I see that I was yeah. right there. I thought fucking retiring right now, bro. <laughs> so I didn't even think of it before I went into the spa, but I had been sparring kickboxes obviously throughout the whole year yeah, and yeah. putting it on them, but they're kickboxes, they're not gonna be up to the standard of boxing. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I put those shin guards on, I seen everyone was like, all right, oh, I'm going to take him out. Because yeah. everyone was like, I'm going to get my lick back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back. And <laughs> I, sparred, I remember sparring with Rebel. And we had some good boxing rounds. Yeah. You know, we had some good boxing yeah. rounds. And I was pushing the pace and we got some mm. good work. But yeah. I, I knew there was something in him that he was like, I, I have to get this guy back somehow. Yeah. So he was just <laughs> killing my legs. Like, <laughs> killing my legs, bro. Yeah. Even when I sparred, I sparred Diddy as well. Um, and that was oh, my man. first taste of a calf kick. Yeah, and I'm sure he's like, yeah, did he, did he loves the yeah. calf kick. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And like the first one, I was like, yeah, it hurts. <laughs> I think I can take it. The second one, I was up. like, yeah, oh, that's yeah. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna oh, change it, stances or something. It builds, yeah. up. <laughs> it builds up over time. Like, yeah, it's people crazy. don't realize, like, if, if <clears> like if if you haven't been kicked in the leg before, imagine you got ten rounds to go and everyone's kick, but everyone's kicking your leg, bro. Yeah. You got no shin guards as well. I couldn't yeah. even imagine that. Yeah. yeah. No and fuck. Yeah. No shin guards is crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you fought no shin guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have you fought no nah, shin guards? You haven't yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. um, yeah, like you don't quite feel it in the fight as much, but afterwards, like when you're walking, you're like, yeah, fuck. Because I'm I've like, seen, oh shit. Yeah, bro. I've seen like after fights, they walk around the cage, all right. Yeah. As soon as I step onto those stairs, getting yeah, out of the cage, yeah, yeah. legit, so limping, yeah, bro. legit, yeah, bro. That looks so. You start to feel it, bro. Yeah. And um. Yeah, like that that last kickboxing fight I had, the No Shin Guards one. Um, I landed. I, well, I counted. I landed like twenty leg kicks. <clears throat> By the time they were, he couldn't check it. Oh, I was at that fight. Oh, were you? With Shin Guards? Yeah, no, no, without you oh, were without, at the altar. This no, was no, after sorry, the altar. I was yeah, like, I was like, yeah. nah. There was there was one fight you had it. Um, Shuriken. Shuriken. Yeah. Shuriken. Right, yeah. right, right, right. That was that was when I stopped. And yeah, with I think the, you stopped him with leg. Yeah, kicks. I stopped him with leg. Yeah, I remember you there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember you seeing you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she was on your corner. No, like no, I think it was just eating. I might have been just on the outside. Yeah, you were right on the outside. You were around yeah, there. I remember yeah, seeing yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wait, yeah so that was a good one. Let's talk about um, the Olympic thing that you're doing. Uh, well, the qualifiers. Qualifiers, mm. right? Yeah. Well, what is it exactly? Why are you going to Thailand for? Uh, you went so, to Italy. Yeah. And now yeah. you're going to Thailand. Oh, yeah. So yeah. how does that work? Does yeah. each country so, have a um, qualifier? Or? Basically, how it works is you've got all the regions in the world. So you've got your Africa, um, uh, Europe, yeah, all those regions. Pacific region, which is which we're located in. Yeah. Um. Each region has a tournament uh, that basically allows you to qualify. So with Europe, yeah. they've got a European Championships and you place, I believe they get seven quota places. So if you place in the top seven, you qualify. <clears throat> For the Pacific region, because we're a much smaller region and the talent's not as advanced as those guys. Yeah. I mean, I believe we're talented, but you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we only get one quota place. So oh, wow. the Pacific Games, which is the one Roman went to, yep. uh, end of last year, I yeah. didn't get to go. Yeah, right. Um, where he got second, so he missed out by one spot. Yeah, one spot. Uh, yeah. Yes. Had it been Europe, he, he would have been qualified. Yeah, because yeah. was it the, the top two or something? <clears throat> top one. Top one. Top, top one of one. one. Yeah. So you literally had to win the whole tournament to yeah. qualify. Yeah. And Australia won eleven of the twelve divisions at that time. Uh, so no Australia way. cleaned up. Yeah, Australia wow. cleaned up. Which was, it was insane. Yeah, and then yeah. pretty much what happens is once all the regions have done their tournaments, yeah. mm. everyone who's left over that didn't qualify gets to go to these world qualifying events. Right, right. Um, and that's the one that I've been going to. So the Italy one was a world qualifying event right. and my division had 72 countries, something God. like that. Oh, damn. A lot of people, a lot, of, your, lot of your own division. Just what? my weight. Yeah. Are you cruiserweight? Uh, well, light like, heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Light yeah. heavyweight what was yeah. the kg? Eighty like? kilos. Eighty kilos, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And um, 
There's two world qualifying events. So yeah, Italy obviously being the first one. Yeah. Don't place top four at that. You get one more shot and this is that Thailand one. Right. Yeah, and you're going to place top four here as well. Yeah, and if you four. don't, then... Then you That's a wrap for this, this yeah. four years, right? Yeah, yeah you got to wait another four years. years. Yeah. I mean, if Olympics is even going to be at the next... Oh, sorry, if boxing will be at the next Olympics. Oh, what, you reckon yeah, it's not? Well, they almost didn't happen for this one. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for a while they've been trying to push it out. Just because of all the politics uh, and yeah, yeah, all the yeah, shit yeah, that comes yeah, with yeah, it, you know? Yeah, so. yeah. Fuck. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even know about that because yeah. I, I thought boxing's always been in the Olympics. So I never yeah. I didn't think they, yeah. they had yeah. issues oh, like there's, that. Yeah, there's so much politics. I'm still learning about it to this day. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot to know, but... Yeah, I've always heard about it. I mean, like, politics and stuff like that. It's notorious. And you see it too in certain fights. You're like, ah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever been robbed? Like, when you feel like... I believe I have. I bet, yeah, I bet, yeah, I bet. Definitely yeah. I bet. And I believe um, it was actually the fight that would have sent me to Pacific Games. Oh, was it the Hamilton shit. one? No. No, the, I thought I was robbed in that fight. Yeah, I, I, I literally said it straight I away. Thought, yeah, yeah, I literally I said it straight away. Fight, no disrespect this, to no one, but fuck it. This other I, fight, I really and it was it. against the same dude. And yeah. this one, I yeah, thought speak I, won, on I that. won clear day. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So we... we that's and literally the one I was telling you about. Taz was fighting him again. Yeah, I, I, I was like, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen this guy. He fought him before yeah. in Hamilton. Yeah. You were fighting with the ABA, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. see, I remember well, that. See, here, here's the politics. So this yeah. is where it gets real interesting. So we had a national event in August. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I won the national event. And they told me going into it, if you win this nationals, yeah, you're the fighter. You're the one we're going to send to Pacific Games. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to train my ass off for that. Yeah. Once I get that done, final D, I kind of kick back for a little bit and then prepare for Pacific Games. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I won that, had two weeks off, mm. still like doing a bit of maintenance running and stuff, but yeah. you know, you gotta let your body and mind rest. Yeah, yeah. And then they tell me, oh, while I was in my rest period, they called me and they were like, oh, you've got uh, two weeks, we're gonna have you in a meal box off again. Oh, and I was like, yeah. what do you mean? Like, you just told me if I won that tournament, that was it. And they were like, yeah. oh, well, some of the selectors weren't satisfied, yada, 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 and whatever. Uh, um, we had this box off, we fought the first day. Mm. I had to cut a shit ton of weight because I... Yeah, they did yeah, dirty right there. Yeah. They did him dirty weight. right there. Yeah. Right yeah. there. They, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. They, they, waited, they, they, they were trying to like, get him on yeah. and they're like, let's play him. Uh, yeah. Two weeks. <laughs> Can you come this to is, This is the guy that they've yeah. been riding with for a while. Yeah, like, he, He's 100%. been the number one for the past two or three years. So Yeah. Right. They've got a connection. They've invested money. Yeah, and they, and they can't have someone just come out of nowhere. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that hasn't worked with them. Or, Especially you know? someone from Australia. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's what... That's, <laughs> that's what probably another thing. Obviously, yeah. I'm a Kiwi citizen. Yeah. Kiwi yeah. born, but yeah. I've come from Australia. And yeah. yeah. They yeah. don't want to see me just take yeah. it. And, and the thing is, like, they're like, oh, he hasn't put in enough work in with us. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. So, like... But clearly, exactly. like, that's that's such a shit thing, you know what I mean? Mm, like, mm. like mano y mano, bro, like, fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why can't it be that way? Why is it so hard to, you know what I mean? It should just be the best fighter at this time. That's exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. If you yeah. win, you yeah. win. If you don't, then you're not yeah. meant to be there. Yeah. Like, like, literally, like, I, I like how, um, uh, not, not to take away, let, let's continue with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's continue what you're saying. But um, I like how um, Saudi uh, is doing their thing. Like, mm. like they, they, they're bringing fighters, fights that, 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 the boxing league would never make happen. Yes. Yeah. That they're always protecting protecting <clears throat> their fighters, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and so it's now, they've got the money. Yeah. They got the money, yeah. And, and what's it in Turk yeah. Turk Al Sheikh or something? Mm-hmm. Turk, yeah. Turk Al Sheikh. Yeah, yeah. Turk Al Sheikh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. the man. Yeah. He is. He's not only just throwing money, he knows <clears throat> the sport. Yeah. Like he understands the he sport. Loves it. He loves it. He loves the passionate. sport. Yeah, he's yeah. passionate. Because yeah. a lot of other countries, like yeah, they're rich. They're just throwing the money just to make the fight. Because sure. maybe someone told them or they're trying to flex the, yeah. that they got the money to make the fight happen. Exactly. But he loves the sport. Yeah, he yeah, knows yeah. who's who. He knows yeah. everything about mm-hmm. it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like the fact that that he's making a bit of a change in boxing where you see the number one guys fighting the number one guys. Yeah. yeah. The fights that the fans want to see. For how many years, you know, boxing, we want to see the, the fan fights, but it never happened because yeah, you're yeah, trying yeah. to protect the record or, exactly. or you know, you wait wait a little longer till someone gets a bit more older and then get yes. the fights like, like, like um, Floyd. or when they're younger, Floyd like what Floyd did, did yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to Canelo because he was young in the game, took him then. He done and it took, to a few guys. And took Pacquiao, you, yeah, Pacquiao yeah, yeah. when he was a bit more older, you 100%. know what I mean? Made him wait. Yeah. 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 So kind of like that. This is part of it. Yeah. 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 At the end of the day, you got to look at it like it's a business. Yeah. 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 And you're trying to make yourself look as good as you can on mm. paper. Yeah. Um, so you're sellable. You're marketable. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, yeah. that's the goal in boxing. So yeah. even like when you first turn professional, you're fighting guys that aren't amazing. Yeah. But yeah. you're just trying to make yourself look good. Good. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. I got told this by someone. Some fights, you're turning up not even to look good in the fight. You just got to be in shape so you look good at the weigh-in
Because it's an yeah. image. It's a, you're painting yeah. a picture, basically. Right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, obviously, if you come in overweight, tubby, everyone's going to be like, oh, this guy's not training, or this guy doesn't look the goods. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you come in shredded, ribs, yeah, yeah, you know, you've yeah. got that demeanor to you, everyone's yeah. going to be like, oh, shit, this guy's a prospect. This yeah. guy's the next one up. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's, it's a very, lot more than just fighting. It's just optics. Exactly. A lot of it's for yeah. optics as well. Sure. Yeah, people yeah. look yeah. at the optics yeah. of things. It's just perception you got to create, right? You got to, it's like, it's like rappers uh-huh. for the most times, right? Most yeah. of them just want to, they, they look cool. They, they, yeah, they're they constantly that, selling yeah. their image yes, you know, yeah. on, on, on them being the top exactly. dog or being cool or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have that to. Sense. You have yeah, to. you have to. Yeah. Yeah. Boxing's all about image. Yeah. yeah. It's it's all about image. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like UFC's a little bit different because yeah. It's only one organization. Yeah, yeah. and the way yeah. they, 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 they made the format from the beginning has been that way. Boxing's exactly. format is different. The way yeah. they formatted it was like, you gotta you got to have some kind of flair to you and you yeah. got to have that... Um, <clears throat> the undefeated thing came, I guess everyone's saying it's Floyd. Floyd as well. yeah, 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 yeah. And but, there's just so many different bodies. Like, yeah. that, that's what I was going to say. World titles or something. Yeah, so like, uh, like it's, it's world champions everywhere, but like, who's the GOAT? You know exactly. I mean? like, yeah. Everyone's yeah. always arguing, like, who's the GOAT, who's the GOAT? You know you're never going to be able to settle that debate because yeah. there's so many different titles. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, everyone's got a valid argument. Like, someone here says, oh, I'm the best in the world. This guy yeah. say, I'm the best in the world. Yeah. They've both got world titles. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's where yeah. Saudi comes I'm in always, and be like, fuck I'm it. I'm always confused as fuck whenever I say yeah. that. I'm just yeah. like, that, that's yeah. it's, it's valid <laughs> the best. You know? It's a valid point. Like, yeah. they've both yeah. got world titles. What yeah. more can you prove unless they fight each other? Exactly. exactly. And, then, and, then yeah. you, and then, like, collecting the belts is, like, mm-hmm. another crazy thing because they yeah. go collect all the belts. And exactly. The fuck with, like, 10 belts. Yeah, yeah, Holy shit. It's kind of like... How I look at it is in the UFC becoming the double champ. Yeah, double champ. So yeah, I yeah. see the double champ is like being a unified champion in boxing. Mm. Right. Yeah, because yeah. obviously unified in boxing, that's when you've got all four belts, you're the yeah. king of that division. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. UFC, the way to make your uh, stamp your mark, I guess, yeah, is win in one division, step up or step down, yeah. Yeah. win another division. Win another yeah. division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's yeah. when you really solidify yourself as, all right, I'm one of the goats. Yeah, one yeah. of the goats, goats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fuck yeah. 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 Like John Jones, right? John Jones done that, you know. Yeah, clearly, John like heavyweight crazy. now. Well, that's yeah, crazy, like, heavyweight, yeah, And I feel like that's probably the hardest weight division to do it as well, going up to heavyweight. Heavyweight, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. scary, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. some scary division. Because, you know, I feel like middleweight to light heavyweight, that's okay. Yeah. Even the lighter weights, you know, that's all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, heavyweight, yeah. like, that's... The game changer. That right? division's yeah. a whole different category. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. man, those guys are fucking huge, bro. bro. Yeah. Like, talk about last night. Yeah. Brando, bro, he dropped him with a jab, bro. bro. Jab. The first <laughs> shot he threw, the first, bro, he like he went down, bro. he stumbled out. I was like, yeah. Jesus, tell bro. me that's not entertaining. Like that, that was, watching those two guys fight, yeah. yeah, you just don't know who's gonna win. Yeah, straight up, you're on your edge of your seat the whole. Brando was fucking aggressive as fuck, bro. Yeah. Like he had those elbows, like man, he was yeah. teeing up, he was beating the shit out of him, bro. Yeah. He was big. Watching Brandon fight is fucking insane. Yeah. Like, he can't it's wait. It's insane. He yeah. can't wait, bro. He, he genuinely wants to fuck these guys up. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell, bro. That's why I love about Brandon. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. <laughs> It's like it's like it's like the bears just waiting to really get out there, bro. Yeah, like, bro. like it's just, just like the shackles are off now. Let me go get yeah, this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, like, let me free, bro. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Even the way in the like ceremony way when he was like screaming, like, oh, I was like, oh <laughs> shit, he hypes you up, bro. It hyped me up. I'm he like, oh shit, bro. bro. I was literally, <laughs> I was gonna watch the show at home. Uh, this was like Shuriken as well. I was yeah. about to watch it at home, and then I'm on my phone going through Instagram. Yeah. Oh, Brando's weighing in. I'm looking at it, looking at it. I seen them pushing and shoving, and I'm just yeah. watching. I'm like, I have to go. Same thing happened with this one. Yeah, yeah. I seen him yeah. at the way, and he was all hyped up. I'm like, nah, I gotta go support. Yeah. I have yeah. to. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I was literally thinking, like, man, let me, let me just fucking get the stream. But then yeah. I was like, nah, let's just get the tickets. Yeah. Fuck it, let's, let's go. Do it, bro. We gotta I, go there. Yeah. To be honest, Hex, that was a really good promotion as well. Yeah, yeah. I really it's, enjoyed that. Yeah. It's a big Australian promotion, right? I'm yeah, super big. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Nav fought as well. Nav fight was oh, master bro. class. Like I mean, I knew he was gonna do yeah. that. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of <laughs> us did. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just so clean with it, bro. Like he's he just is. too, he is. too so clean with it. He's very confident, and comfortable. He yeah. just his fight IQ was off the charts. Yeah, man. that's exactly right. He's got a real good fight IQ. And what I like what he does when he fights is. He doesn't head hunt. No. He doesn't yeah. leg hunt. He's very patient. He's very good at mixing and, up the levels. Yeah. He, you know, he, he everything he throws, he's just touching first. Yeah. The leg kicks touch, 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 yeah, touch, yeah, touch. Yeah. Once he figures it out, I'm like, all right, sweet. Now nah, I know where I'm Everything at. starts opening up. That's it. But yeah. he doesn't take any stupid risks, any yeah. risks that nah. he doesn't need to take. Yeah. He plays it the right way. Yeah. You know, and that's going to take you a long way in the 100%. Sport. Yeah. Because you could tell, like, 
Like even when he had him hurt and he was shelling up, yeah. like Nav was like, nah, nah, let me see, let me see, yeah, let me yeah, see, yeah, you yeah, know, let me see what else he's got. Yeah, I know yeah. He's, still, he's still trying to get. Yeah, because if I start yeah. teeing off, you know what I mean, I could get caught in between, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, and he almost did. He almost did. He, yeah, he yeah, ducked yeah. under that hook. Yeah, bro. you know what I mean. So it's uh-huh. smart, bro. And then the spinning back kicks, Everything. and then like he fainted, he fainted like he was gonna do the spinning back kick again. Mm-hmm. Came out with a two three knee. That was nice. Yeah, that was yeah, super nice. nice, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking man. Bro. <clears throat> nah, he's uh, definitely one of the guys I look up to. Um, not even just with fighting as well, like outside of fighting. Yeah, uh, that's he's actually my flat mate now. Yeah, so, like, that's that's who I live with. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, just seeing the way that he carries himself outside mm-hmm. of that fight game and. Mm-hmm. Um, just on a daily basis, being mm. a true professional, and yeah. he's just all in on the sport. You know, yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. Uh, he started streaming, which I think is dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Switch stream like, too. Yeah. yeah, who in New Zealand streaming? That's a fighter. Literally, yeah. You know, he's no, one. Yeah. I don't know anyone. Yeah. He's the yeah, first yeah, one I know. Yeah. And he said he's killing it too. So I'm like, yo, he this, is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, me personally, I like watching streaming. Yeah, you yeah. know, like even if it's a fighter that I look up to, like. I just find it interesting seeing how they are as a yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like outside of fighting. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. like if, if Izzy was streaming, that would be so Bro. sick. Like, <laughs> I'll be locked in, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's the same sick. for Nav. Yeah. Like, Nav, if Nav becomes, like, a, a superstar, watching him yeah. stream, like, him being a streamer is fucking awesome, you know? It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is they're both going to bring each other up. Exactly. Yeah. So his yeah. fighting's going to bring the streaming and vice versa. 100%. Yeah. So your yeah. audience is widening so much. So much more, yeah. Because you're reaching reaching people that that might not know you're a fighter and all of a sudden, oh, shit, fights and then you know exactly. like you get more people into the game yeah, yeah and you get yeah. more eyes locked on because people might know you for like just the gaming stuff and they'll be like yeah. oh shit yeah he's he's actually pretty he kicks ass <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, fucks he, he actually he was saying a few other people that came to the fight um last night were through the stream yeah you know people were buying tickets oh no the way stuff, like, oh, yo yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fucking oh, wow. dope bro which is dope yeah that's so dope yeah i mean i guess that's what you do it for so. yeah, yeah 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 it was cool what, uh, uh, would you turn pro anytime soon or is yeah, like once you go, pro, like, like, is Olympics it? Is it the, is not yeah, pro, right? Yeah, the Olympics is not pro. Nah, right? nah, nah. You can. Yeah. There are pros in the Olympics. Oh, you Some can be guys, a pro. Yeah. Man. So, so with the Olympics, you can have up to. Uh, it's either five or ten fights. Pros, pro fights. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. oh okay. you need to be under a five or ten pro. Fight. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but nah, I think. Yeah. Uh, Pretty certain I'll be turning professional this year. Yeah, this yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yo, yo, let's hopefully, get it. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Time to get that turkey money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Fuck so, yeah. Um, yeah. Now nah, that's the goal. That's the goal. I mean, I feel like with me, um, I've always been better suited to the pros. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like with the pros, you can be more patient. You can set your attacks up a lot mm. more. Yeah. Amateur fighting is very um, fast paced high intensity. Yeah. All about volume and numbers. Yeah. yeah. Because you've only got three three-minute rounds. Yeah, <laughs> and if you drop that first round, automatically you're playing catch-up for round right. two and three. Mm, yeah. Whereas with the pros, you know, you've got a bit of time. You can take rounds off. Yeah. yeah. You can sort of set traps earlier in the fight, bring them back later in the right. fight. Right, yeah, yeah. That sort of thing. It's more yeah. st- strategy. Strategy, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I feel like with my style, I'm more of a sniper. Yeah, yeah. You know, facts. I like to kind of straight, huh? aim and yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, and, and I know like you, 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 you like you like having time to set your things up. Yeah. And then work off that. Yeah. And I like psychological warfare. You know? Yeah. As much as I can do all the stand and bang, yeah, whatever. I like yeah. to really make it a chess game. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I I love watching Taz Taz spar. Like I yeah. told you this yeah, plenty yeah. of times. I didn't tell my brother. I'm like, yeah. bro, you have no idea. Like when I first <laughs> saw you, I'm like, bro, you need. Yeah. I don't know if you know who Taz is, but you need to come see this dude. Bro. <laughs> this dude. Yeah, this dude. Like it's so beautiful to just see you spar. The first time I saw you spar was when you sparred Roman, you and Roman sparring. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, man, this is some beautiful shit. Like, yeah, this is yeah, art. Yeah. This is crazy. The guy, the way you guys are sparring, like, it's super technical and it's just high-level shit. I can see yeah. you guys playing the game with each other. Well, that's what you it know is. What I, mean? I love sparring, Roman. Like, especially now because we've done so many rounds with each other. Yeah, like, now you kind of know each other, other as well. We've yeah. done thousands of rounds and, yeah, yeah, we know each other's moves. Yeah. Because yeah. you know? yeah. every fighter's got their special move. Everyone's got yeah. their go-to yeah. or something that always yeah. works. But because yeah. we know each other's moves, it's literally just a game of, like, all right, who can get who's gonna make the first mistake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's gonna right. fuck up? Yeah. Right. And if one of us fucks up, we're both sharp enough to know and recognize that, and we'll counter yeah. straight away. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's cool. It's cool. But yeah, back to the pro thing. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, um, I think they were saying maybe September, possibly. Oh, oh yeah. All I know is that it's it's they're aiming to get me on on David Nika's undercard. Uh, yo, oh, I was yo. legit going to ask you about David Nika. Oh, really? He was part of CKB, right? At one point. I don't know if I th- he was. I believe he was. I, think I feel he like I've seen bit. him there. Yeah. I don't know. I've seen photos of him. Oh, so you never spotted him or anything like that? Nah, since I've been in the gym, gym, he wasn't
But, yeah, I was yeah. going to ask you, because he was, like, the silver medalist. Oh, no, a he, bronze I think he got medalist. a bronze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For New Zealand, right? I think he, he was, was up he was there, man. He, New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's based in Australia now, but, yeah, yeah. All, all the amateur stuff yeah. was in New Zealand. He's, but yeah. he's pretty good. He's, he's good. good. He's yeah. good. He's yeah. done a lot. He got Com Games gold medal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> was boxing all over the world as an amateur. Yeah. Mm. To get a medal at the Olympics is insane. Like, I don't yeah. think people quite realize it's hard enough making it to the Olympics, yeah. let alone getting a medal. medal yeah. Yeah. Like, even yeah. just winning a fight at the Olympics, like, yeah. you're That's pretty big. good to That's do that. Big. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. huge. I, 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 you know, it's, it's such a huge thing because a lot of fighters that, that you know, whether they're, they're um, wrestling or whatever, when they yeah. speak, they, the Olympics is where they say it's like the highest level yeah. Yeah. you can get to. For if, sure. If you're, if you're an Olympic wrestler, like you're the man. Yeah. Or if you're 100%. an Olympic boxer or Olympic 100%. whatever, you know what I mean? mean it's the best of the best, right? Straight yeah. up. Like exactly, yeah. And, and, and they're weeding out everyone that's not, yeah. not you know, yeah. Like, when you get, if you win the yeah. gold medal, like you've done it all, you know, oh, you, yeah. you went through the ringer to get that It's medal. a four yeah. year process. Yeah. 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 You, know, you, got, you got trials on yeah. trials yeah. on trials. Yeah. Four years so to get so much that. shit that Crazy. goes into it. Yeah. Even like, making sure you get your preparation right and you're mm. peaking at the right time. Mm. People yeah. spend the four years literally doing it with the structure to get the peak at the exact right time. Yeah. Man, yeah, it's four insane. Years. Imagine yeah, a four year prep insane. just to get yeah. peak right there. Um, and that's why uh, they sort of talk about people get that post-Olympic depression. I don't know if you've heard about that. No. So <clears throat> basically, because you're building up for this thing for so long. Yeah. Um, once you finally reach that mark and then it's finished, it's people like, will right. tend to lose their purpose. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, right. So you've hit this mean. massive high, this thing yeah. you've been aiming for for so long, and then mm. once it's gone, you're just like, what well, now? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I've had that. I've had it before. Yeah. Um, I went to the Youth World Championships in 2018. Mm. <clears throat> so I was only 17 at the time. Um, right. But a similar thing, like for yeah. two years, that was the goal. And I've been building up for that, going through trials, doing yeah. tournaments. Yeah. Winning Oceania Games, you know, doing various things. And then I went to this tournament overseas. My first time fighting in Europe as well. So oh, I was like, this is it. exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, got drawn up against Japan and had a fight that... <laughs> fuck, I don't want to sound... Yeah. I believe I won the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I feel yeah, like I won yeah. the fight. Yeah. I mean, everyone... That's just my opinion. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah. Um, anyway, lost on a split decision. And then after that fight, it really hit me. I yeah. was like, mm. is this what my career is going to be? Like, you know, uh, I'm going to constantly be going building up for something it finishes and then I'm just gonna just come back out of it and be like what's next, what was right? the point of that yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what's next but yeah. what I learned a lot from that and what I'm still learning now is that it's just as important to enjoy the process yeah getting you there so yeah. it's not so much about the end result or how you go at the tournament or whatever, yeah. anything like that. It's yeah. how, how much you grow as a person in that preparation leading up to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I feel like once you can figure that out and once you can realize that, <clears throat> um, it takes you a long way and you grow a lot as a fighter too, mm. you know, because your priorities change a little bit and you're not doing it for the end result and you're not thinking too much about yeah. win, lose. You're just trying to have fun at the end of the day because yeah. that's what we do it for. Exactly. Yeah. We just want to have fun. Yeah. want to enjoy this shit because this shit's fun as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah straight and up. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's yeah. It, you know, you hear Izzy talk about it as well when he made his debut. Uh, I forget what he said, but yeah, he said that um, he, when he made his debut, he won. He, he won his he he won his what fifty thousand fifty k bonus, fifty k bonus. But mm-hmm. he was like, he felt empty after. Yeah, he felt empty, empty after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because yes. I guess it was it was it was leading up to that. Yeah. And he he made it into the UFC spectacular yeah. fashion, but it's like. <clears throat> Where's that, you know, where's yeah, that, yeah. that buzz or whatever I was yeah, looking for? You know, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I feel like that's like an even different level because yeah. with me, like, yeah. yeah, I felt it, but I didn't have like the media and yeah. I didn't yeah, have all yeah, that attention yeah. leading yeah, into yeah. it. You know, yeah. for him, it's different because like 24 7, well, not 24 7, but most of the time he's surrounded by people yeah. and he's got people around him. Yeah. yeah. As soon as those doors close, it's very it's just, lonely. Yeah, it's yeah. very quiet. It gets mm. super quiet because you're so used to like. Yeah. Like the the noise around you, and all of a sudden when you're alone by yourself, you're like, "Fuck!" Exactly. It's like there's not there's no stimulus. Yeah. There's and no when st- there's so much noise, sometimes you can't even think about it. Mm, yeah. You, know, you actually need to take that time when you are by yourself to, to really process. process you yeah. Facts. Yeah. 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 Like I, I felt I felt that way as well when I when I used to compete in bodybuilding. Mm-hmm. Like like I sacrificed so much just to go compete, and then like I played second in, in my first comp, but afterwards it was kind of like I don't know, it just mm. felt. I got. I went home and I was like, 
I said I got two medals and like yeah, what yeah, now? Yeah, like you know, yeah, I was like, yeah, what yeah. now? Like yeah. it goes like that. Yeah, yeah. it just went away. It like goes. Yeah, like yeah. all those hard times, dieting, sacrificing, staying hungry, and just mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you guys, my brother. Every time they come yeah. to see me, I'm at the gym every yeah. single time. Like I take my food everywhere I went. Like I did all those things. Yeah, and I I competed, and then afterwards it's like fuck. Like now yeah. now what? Now back to reality again. Back to work, and then not. And sitting there at home like fuck like yeah, was that it yeah, <laughs> was yeah, that was that it yeah and that's why you, know I mean? you have to love the process yeah and yeah. that's where that's what i was gonna get to was like i i was not enjoying the process i never i never gave myself any props for what i was doing you know what mm -hmm. i mean uh mm -hmm. throughout like i never never like oh yo I did, I did good i was always like nah it's not enough not enough i never appreciated anything i did yeah because yeah. you constantly want to improve so you can't <clears throat> yeah you know what i mean but and now that's, that's natural man that's, yeah you know, like we're always competitors, especially you know? as being competitors yeah. we're always wanting more we're thriving yeah. for more and more yeah. so yeah. now i've kind of found about now that i've been to martial arts and like i obviously I'm, I'm a lot i've grown over the years as well I've matured mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i've found kind of found the balance where like I'm appreciating everything I do now a lot more. The way I my my physicality, the my, my skills now that I'm growing, like yeah, yeah. I'm 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 appreciating a lot more, and I'm enjoying the process. I'm soaking everything in mm -hmm. as I'm getting to the fight, yeah. and like I'm still locked in too. I want to win everything, you know. The mindset is still there, but I'm also enjoying the process, yeah. not letting winning just take over everything mm -hmm. you know what i mean not win it's not, not let, about that yeah not let the yeah. not like winning yeah. take it's not, it's not kill everything winning. else yeah. Yeah. yeah so now i'm enjoying the whole shit i'm, I'm fighting in two weeks yeah um yeah yeah at 71 kg it's a bit heavier yes. than i want but yeah fight I'm, to fight though yeah that's it yeah, i can't fucking yeah, wait yeah, to go yeah. and like, especially as an amateur like you should really just be trying to get in there as much as you can that's it bro that's, that's my is, goal this is your learning you yeah this is the learning period of the whole fight yeah yeah it's like having an apprenticeship Mm. You know, you spend that amount of time just... Mm. This is when you can have your fuck-ups. Yeah. You know, this is when you can... This is when you're allowed to, right? This yeah. is when you can get your yeah. weight cuts wrong or you yeah. can have off nights and fighting. Mm. Yeah. Um, and that's all experience. You learn so much from those nights. Yeah. You know, so that when you go pro, <clears throat> you've already experienced everything. Yeah. yeah. So if, say for example, you rock up on fight night and you're having a shit night, usually you can recognize that within yourself. Yeah. yeah. But you'll be able to recognize that, mm. yeah, okay, maybe this is one of my off nights. Yeah. So... Yeah. I'm going to do this and this and this and I'm going to stick to what's working. Yeah. yeah. You know, just yeah. being able to... You just know how to navigate it because you've, yeah, been, in, you've been in those yeah. situations. That's literally why I did. I fought the altar and then six days later I fought the kickboxing mm. fight. I fought mm. closely because I wanted to see myself as a fighter. Like as a fighter, yeah. how do I deal with the situation? Mm. Like I've, obviously mm. I've got a bit of niggles here and there going into the next fight. Yeah. I'm like, okay, let's see. Let's see who I am in, yeah. in this situation. Yeah. So the next time if I have to fight back to back, like I know, oh yeah, yeah. I can pull from that. I've been there before. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. let's book two fights back to back. I'll be. I'll be sweet. Speaking I know of I am. fighting back to back with the Olympic stuff, mm. like the the trials. It's like yeah. back to back, right? It's oh like every yeah, week. yeah. It's pretty full on. It's, yeah. Uh, the last one, I had three fights in that tournament, and um, I had a fight on the first day. I had a day's rest, another fight. Holy shit! Holy and fuck. I had to go from that fight fight again the next day. The next and day. The, the, honestly, the hardest part is not even like physically, it's being able to maintain the weight. Yeah, because you have to oh. weigh in the same weight. You know? Yeah, like, so you oh, can't, you can't weigh in and then just go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom, yeah. yeah. He has yeah. to come back yeah. down. You got to like again. still sip on your water and still have little meals here and yeah, there. because you, you do a weigh in each time. Yeah, every, every time. time yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So three days, so if, say, <clears> he's <throat> fighting 80. Yeah. He fights 80, so he has to fight 80 the next day and 80 the next day. So he can't, he can't go over the weight. Yeah, like I, I honestly, I wish it was like, oh yeah, just weigh in the first day and then that's it. Yeah, but that's kind of what I thought, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it, it seems right. It sounds I'm about right. Put it up at ninety kilos. Yeah. Like, let's get it. Well, that's the thing. You, you get to the finals day, and yeah. you know, say the weight's eighty kilos yeah. on the first day, you're gonna have guys rocking up to the finals at ninety kilos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're gonna yeah. have giants. Yeah, yeah. yeah facts. Yeah. So I, it makes sense, but it's also very frustrating yeah. because I like food. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. gonna be hard on the body too. Especially like bro. after a fight, like all you oh, want to do is eat, bro. Huh? That's, that's you have to stop. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine. I can't even yeah. imagine yeah. fight like three days back back waiting yeah, to eat yeah, fucking yeah, food. Yeah, like yeah. that's crazy. Actually, I got a question. What's your go-to food? Both of you. What's your go-to food after? Bro, fight? straight burgers, bro. Burger, burger, burgers, like, burger fuel. No, oh, burger, salad. bro. Any kind of burger. I I just like smash burgers. I'll be looking up all types of like joints the burger joints that we got like yeah, re-burgers yeah, yeah. one that's okay. in great lynn yeah bro this yep. shit's gangsta as fuck they got okay, loaded fries and shit loaded fries yeah bro a banger. bro yeah, i get yeah. i get i get like double patty <laughs> like i get a massive burger i got a loaded yeah, fries you just want that bro cookies. and i'll be special my cookies <laughs> my cookies oh, oh those are the <laughs> <laughs> every time i see someone fight 
and like the next week you'll bring some cookies in. Yeah, I'm yeah. that. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that better be some spam. <laughs> what, what do you get? What do you get? Uh, What's yours? Yeah, let's mine, hear it. Cheesecake. cheesecake. No oh, shit, cheesecake. cheesecake. Sensational. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Future. Future. Just, yeah. just a standard sour yeah. and cheesecake. Yeah. That, like, oh. That's it, cheesecake. So no burger, no pizza. Oh, say no less. I, don't care I about got that, you, bro. bro. Oh, oh. for the sweets. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's either yeah. uh, cheesecake or just like a block of Whitaker's chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, just, yeah. just nah, I will make you a cheesecake. Thanks. Yeah. I got yes, you, bro. Sir. I got yeah. you. Yeah. I got you, bro. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna be when you come back. When you get back, I'm gonna be beating those motherfuckers when you come back, bro. I got you. Nah, that's it. Say less. That's the key to my heart. Yeah. Because literally, bro, like, I'll just come home after a fight. Chuck a movie on, kick back, just eat a cheesecake. That's like yeah. my ideal celebration. Oh, bro, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm a chef, but I've been doing this shit for 10, yeah. 11 years. Yeah. I will make you a cheesecake, bro. Oh, I got man. you. I love to you. that. <laughs> but, fuck, tell me, how's it uh, training at uh, Tim Sue's um, gym? Mm. That was um, that was an insane experience. Really Did you spar experience. or was it? Or? Yeah, so the, the whole reason I was there was for sparring. Oh, sick. So, nice. I was back in Sydney over Christmas. Yeah. Because uh, my family's there, so... I always go back for like holidays and that sort yeah. of thing just to spend time with them. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was just on vacay mode and then uh yeah, Tim's team reached out to me and they're like, Oh, um, Tim's got a southboard, do you wanna come in for sparring? Oh nice. And I was like, Oh fuck, I was meant to go back to New Zealand at this time. Um, it's probably not gonna work out. They were like, Oh, how much do you need? We'll pay for your accommodation while you're still here. Yeah. And I was like, Oh shit, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well no In my opinion, at that time that's like arguably some of the best sparring you're gonna get in the world yeah you know, it's an opportunity like why would you pass that up yeah, yeah. you know you're gonna learn yeah. so much and the cool thing about it was they actually um let me train with tim every day mm. so i could come in and it was literally just me tim and nikita which is his brother right yeah and then um igor and tim's granddad and yeah. they're all family. Yeah. So for me to be a part of that was really yeah, special. That was beautiful. You know, it was yeah. That's freaking right. beautiful. It was bro. really um. So you were really the grateful only to... and main sparring partner, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So there was nice. two other guys, but yeah. they were kind of like come and go. But yeah, I was. Right, right, I was right. always there. That's and, beautiful. Um, just they're a different breed of professionalism and competitive. Yeah. You know, mm. like it was quite funny. We we train um all week. You know, train hard, and then once a week. Because uh, the gym's like in a community center. So they've yeah. got basketball courts and oh, football wow. courts and yeah. right. Once a week, we'd always go and play a game of something. Yeah. So um, <laughs> this one week, we played basketball. And I was like, sweet, we're going to go play basketball. <laughs> That's the shit. <laughs> but then we go down. <laughs> yeah. These dudes are playing like they're fighting for their life. Like, oh, the competitiveness what? was oh, shit. ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, surely because we're playing basketball, like this is just like a rest. Yeah, day. like yeah, a chill. Like, <laughs> I think I did something and I made a joke. Uh, to one of my teammates because yeah. I like I missed a shot or something and yeah. I was like oh that was embarrassing and he went and just kept playing <laughs> oh, I was like shit. oh <laughs> I was like that okay. I'm gonna step up now you know? <laughs> um, and then yeah there's just these guys literally compete with anything yeah Yo. you know? and I guess being a fighter you compete yeah you're competitive it's always nature, yeah right? it's in the nature it's just, you know what I mean to compete nature. to be competitive yeah. and everything so it was actually really good to be in that environment because um yeah I've got guys that are just pushing me day in day out to yeah. compete and be better yeah you know and it was cool because over that whole experience like I was taking notes of every day and yeah, yeah. even some of the training methods are real old school but real effective as well yeah. Yeah. and um I just implement it into my training yeah you know? so even we've got our training schedule here at CKB I yeah. still do my little bits outside here and there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Make sure I'm touching base with every, you know, bit Everything. of training I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. So I've seen the results of what it does for them and yeah. what I mean, more do you need fuck, to see? Tim's, you know? Tim's a yeah. fucking savage, bro. One of the best in the you world. You know what I mean? And, and, and that was a beautiful opportunity for you to be part of a, of a story as well, you know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. you were there. Hundred percent for one of us, you know. Hundred percent. Yeah, who's, this who's, is experience. Oh, you can have separate. No, no, no. But I'll ask, who's, who's in your top five? Or ten? Or... Oh. Fighters are like fighters, yeah, all time uh, for boxers. boxing. Well, let's yeah. let's do boxers. Boxers yeah. are yeah. top current? five. Yeah, yeah top five. Oh, all time, whatever. All they time, all time. They're alive. Everyone's gonna go from the past. past. Yeah, I'll, I'll go no particular order. I'll yeah, no particular okay. order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm gonna go Terence Crawford. Yeah. Um, this is actually really. I've never actually. Asked <laughs> <this>. <laughs> let's okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. We asked the tough question. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. Don't blame me. Terence Crawford, Alexander Usyk. Uh, Lomachenko mm. fuck 
Tommy Hearns. I love the Hitman Hearns. Yeah. I'm a big Tommy fan Hearns, of him. Bro. I've always been a fan of him. Bro. Um, Lennox Lewis. Mm, the last one. Fuck, some of you guys are going to hate me for this. I'm going to go with Canelo. I'm going to go with Canelo. Oh, yeah. Actually, no, 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 no. That's what am I talking bad. about? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd. Okay, yeah. Put Floyd in there. I was yeah. only going to ask you where Floyd yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I, I was literally going to yeah. say Canelo because of his defensive awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, but I think that's just because I've watched his fight today. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. so fresh. Yeah. Floyd's the goat. Yeah, yeah. Floyd's the greatest. Floyd's the goat, bro. No shit. Yeah. Can't take yeah. that away from him. Fifteen. Oh, bro. Yeah. Fifty pro fights. Never. But it's lost. like not even fifty pro fights. It's like fifty fights against solid competitors. Yeah, and not just anyone. These, yeah. these guys. You look through his resume. And yeah. Like, Holy shit! He fought him. He yeah. fought yeah. him. He fought yeah. him. Like yeah. fuck. He yeah. fought Cotto. He fought one Zab all. Judah. That's crazy. That was one of my favorite fights. Floyd and Zab Judah. That was one of my favorite fights. Yeah. Yeah. I still feel like that was a knockdown. I feel like ah, Zab Judah had that knockdown. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 But the thing, Zab was fast. Like was. Floyd, Floyd yeah, was man. like Floyd was having trouble with his speed. Well, he like, was, he Zab was. Yeah, Zab, fast, Zab, that was one of the guys that um really, really tested Floyd. You know, yeah. Floyd had a couple fights. He fought uh, Shane Mosley. Yeah, Mosley, Mosley got yeah. him with that. Floyd ended up yeah. winning that fight quite yeah. comfortably. Yeah, yeah. He, he got tested early. Yeah, but um that gives a lot of credit to Floyd's ability and skill ability, to, yeah, yeah. to come back from that and just yeah. and make adjustments like his ability to make adjustments he can do it in between fights ease, yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. yeah and one thing about Floyd is like he's always changing his looks mm. yeah so yeah. if you watch him fight or you watch him spar whatever it is he's never giving you the same look yeah so you can never prepare for what he's gonna do yeah. right? see one minute he'll be here and then he'll be here yeah he'll be here and he'll be here, here, yeah. he'll be here, yeah. he'll be here. like yeah. it's yeah. always something different yeah. and yeah. the angle and the variation of the punches is constantly yeah. changing too yeah always he's always changing his looks that's one thing I noticed like he's always mm-hmm. he's either here or he'll pull the Philly shell or he will just lean over, you know what I mean? He'll drop yeah. his hand low and he'll just lean over for that pull counter. Exactly. Or even just to bait you and just like, you know, make you miss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he'd be yeah, doing yeah. all type of shit, you know what I mean? He's got all the tricks in the book. Yeah. You know? Yo, wait, Ryan Garcia and Devin Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, wow. let's get to that. Wow. Let's get to that. Wow. We're literally, we're literally talking about it. That, wow. that, 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 that. Okay, there's a lot going on with that. Like, all kinds of shit going on. I didn't even story. know where to start with that. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions I didn't answer. Fuck it up, Ryan. I just... My, my, my first question is like, what was Ryan Garcia's preparation for that fight? Mm. Who yeah, knows, right? Who knows? Who knows? He could have been taking it really seriously. And yeah. Just gaming. I mean, he yeah. said he's gamed everyone, but also he could be gaming everyone by saying he's gaming everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just yeah. don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's a funny one, man. But, yeah. but what we know is he beat the shit out of Devin Haney. Oh, bro. Fight, bro. He was he I, so I did not see that coming, like him beating the fuck out of Devin Haney like that. That's nah, crazy. And the thing is like, some of the guys that Devin's fought, you wouldn't like say for example with Lomachenko. That's, yeah. Mm, yeah. Lomachenko you couldn't do that to him. Yeah. Exactly. And Lomachenko is a yeah. fucking freak. Bro. And it was it was like a it was like a chess battle, right? With yeah. Lomachenko's really, three yeah. 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 Super technical. Ryan Garcia, it was like a brawl. Garcia like, was, just yeah. brought it to him. Bro. Yeah. He was just that left hook. Yeah. Like, I think I think the thing with Ryan Garcia is his speed is so blistering yeah. that it's really hard yeah. to deal with. Because yeah. the thing I also noticed with him is he throws that same shot the same way. So yeah. many different times. He doesn't. He doesn't really start with a jab. Yeah. He won't really throw a two before yeah. it. He's just straight up, boom, yeah. just sending that yeah. three. And I think what a lot of people <clears throat> don't take into account is, yeah, like that punch comes at you so fast. You have so little time to prepare for it. So if yeah. it does catch you, it is going to hurt you. Yeah. 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 And it yeah. did like. <clears throat> in the first round yeah yeah it's like it was like what 15 20 whatever it was, like, I don't know maybe. how many seconds it but wait, bro, I was screaming I was like oh bro, what bro. the fuck no way yeah, yeah. no fucking and way and that ref too that ref was like that ref he had at least two more knockdowns he bro. at least had two yeah. more knockdowns at least the fight should have been st- I don't know bro, him and Bill out. were definitely throwing some coke back there he's like <laughs> oh, oh, I got yeah. you buddy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 the I dropped a few bands on Devin like yeah, <laughs> that shit didn't make no sense. Bro. Nah, nah. And then even that thing when uh, Devin got knocked down and the ref took a point off Ryan. Yeah. yeah. Like, Wait, yeah. how I mean, the like, fuck does that work? Like, bro. Yeah. It's what? Just, yeah. He bought him about 30 seconds in that. Yeah, he let him live. He let him live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, I liked, I liked how um, Ryan was using the frame. Like, his, mm-hmm. he was using that the long guard yeah. to and try to find um, yeah. Devin's head. Nice. Yeah, he, he, he'll, he'll step in and then he'll put his guard out to yeah. find his head and then yeah. shoot that two over the top. Mm-hmm. And he kept shooting it down because he knew Devin kept going down there. 
Yeah, yeah but, but it, it does make me realize like maybe it was Devin having an off night. But yeah, I don't think he was. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think because he, he was still winning the rounds, he was still doing good. He was still banking rounds. But 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 Garcia was. Like he had he had like flurries and then he'll just like chill. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Oh, that little Philly shell thing he was doing too. Yeah, like, when he turns around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's like, how? What would you do? Yeah, how, it's kind of like a chico because now you can't what hit. Can you do? Because yeah. now you're hitting his back and the, even yeah. the ref's like, bro, you're hitting his back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What like, can you do? Cheat code. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Well, man, fuck. Yeah, it's. Wait, okay. You know the build up, right? The build up. Mm, yeah. The build up was crazy. Would you do anything like that? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you should. I'm not saying you should. If the money's right. Yeah, I mean, no. but, but, um, I, I didn't mean it literally like nah, that. Like, I, yeah. like, fuck with your opponent so much. I'm, uh, I'm saying when you're a pro. Like, fuck with them so much that, that you know I, I got this in the bag. Like, he's yeah. thinking I'm going to be this way and I'm going to come out this way. Maybe oh, not, definitely you, not to that extent. Oh, yeah. Of course not. Because course he, not. he was saying some outrageous yeah, things. Yeah, And I was just like, like, like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But I know, I know where yeah, you're coming yeah. from. Yeah. I, I meant like in terms of like, fuck with your opponent. Like, like, like. I think I'll do subtle things. Yeah. 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 yeah I think yeah. I definitely, I mean, any, anything to get an advantage of my opponent, I'll yeah. do. Mm-hmm. You know, even if it's like, maybe telling one of his teammates something. Right. You know? Yeah. It's like logical warfare. Yeah. I might tell his teammate, oh, I fucked my hand up. And then yeah. he's gonna, I'll be like, try and make it sound real low key. And he might go yeah, a little bit to yeah, the team. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. now he's thinking I've got a dodgy right hand, yeah. whereas my oh. right hand's gonna be my strong hand. Yeah. 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 I'll do little things like that for sure. Yeah. yeah. But I won't be going yeah, in front going of the going yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Telling his team to suck my dick and shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not even doing any of that. <laughs> that was crazy, bro. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Bro, he played us all, bro. I don't even gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah. The amount of motherfuckers that was crying because they lost their money because they oh, bet on them and it's crazy, bro. Yeah, you Wait, know, Ryan bet two, uh, what, two million on himself, himself. and won twelve. That's Fuck. insane. So how does that work? You can bet on yourself, but you can't bet against yourself. Is that yeah, how I think so? I think okay. so. It okay. has to be right. I mean, the UFC banned their fighters from betting. Yeah. The period. Mm-hmm. But in boxing, like you know, I guess the commission rules that the match, but you're kind of yeah. your own free agent, right? I yeah. think, or you're signed to your own promotion. Yeah. So you kind of have the free rules book. are all over the shop. Yeah. Boxing, yeah. To be honest, exactly. yeah, 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 I feel yeah. like the yeah. reason reason why um even when I had a chat with you before the fight happened, I was like. He, he needs to go in there and he can't box Devin Haney. He has to fight Devin yeah, Haney. Yeah, and that's what he did. He, he fought him. He just went in there. He didn't, like, every time he went in, he didn't give him space yeah. to breathe. He'll go in with that left hook. He'll, he'll, he'll try and. I think he just overwhelmed him as well. Yeah, he just overwhelmed yeah, him with that. Uh, and then the speed yeah. started fucking with him. Yeah. So now he's bringing the fight and his speed was like crazy. Even his jab, like, sometimes he's throwing yeah. his jab so fast. Yeah, oh, man. Haney's like, fuck. So when he does that, Haney, Haney, like, parries it like this. And that's yeah. when he throws that hook right after it. He's setting it up. Yeah, he was setting it up well. Devin is like Devin's always able to find a way and just go back to his jab yeah. but he wasn't really doing it in that nah, he wasn't yeah, bringing was his jab to, in. I was wondering why I was like maybe he's trying to prove that he's like a strong fighter as well yeah. Or, yeah. Um, maybe Ryan somehow diminished his jab that we yeah. didn't see yeah. like, uh, yeah. who knows you know yeah, yeah. Uh, I, was think, I was thinking that too because like Haney's jab is fucking crazy but it is but oh, well, I, I, I saw a video of Floyd Mayweather where they like mocking Haney's yeah. jab yeah, 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 yeah. you yeah. see that he punched like an amateur I don't know what he meant by that yeah oh, he was but saying like um, so when he, he jabs right, he's he's opening that. himself yeah, up yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. which I mean he kind of was he was he was he was he's being critical yeah yeah um because yeah floyd's a perfectionist yeah 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 yeah, yeah, the funny thing with floyd is he always tries to remind people that he's the goat yeah yeah (laughs) he does it every time he does it every fucking time bro (laughs) even if you look at that kid kamel moon (laughs) yeah 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 Yeah, so kamel won his pro debut um, they're at the presser after the fight, and he fight. stole his fucking shot. And then yeah, Floyd sneaks up to the mic in yeah. front of Camille, <laughs> yeah. gets one of the reporters to go, "Who's the most accurate fighter? Yeah. Who's yeah. got the most? Yeah. Who's yeah. one of yeah. the most belts? <laughs> who's the greatest?" I am. Walks off. I'm like, bro, yeah. like, Come let on, the kid bro. have a shine. Yeah. He's a fucking <laughs> kid. You're trying to battle the fucking. He's uh, just having a old bro. This, this kid's been dreaming of this since he was a baby, bro. Fuck and you still want to come and take his shot? Bro, now you're bullying fucking kids, bro. What the fuck? He kills me, bro. He kills me. But that's also what I love about him. Is like he's that competitive. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you can't argue, you can't argue against what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, and the about. thing is, like, it's so hard can, to say can, anything because we can can't. hate on it. We can, we can be hate like, on it. Yeah. This, but it's facts. Yeah. But it's facts. Right? It's yeah. facts. Yeah. It's facts. Yeah. But, but <clears throat> man, a fucking kid, like brother, like, yeah. he I knows know, who the fuck you are, bro. That's his moment. Like, like, oh. we're gonna take his moment from him like that. That's just Floyd. No, that's just Floyd. He's always been like that, and he's uh. Yeah, he's entertaining. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. What do you think about the Canelo Munguia fight today? Um, I didn't get a chance to watch it, but it yeah. So I watched. 
I watched up to round six all the way through. Yeah. And then I was just watching like, little periods from round six to yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll watch it back later. But from what I saw, um, it looked like Canelo was just controlling the fight. Mungia yeah. brought the fight, though. Mm, like, yeah. i, I got to give it to Mungia. Yeah. Like, he, he was bringing the pressure, mixing up his attacks well. He yeah. was actually catching Canelo with some shots. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you don't really usually see Canelo get caught. Yeah. yeah. You know? Except for when he fought Except people. The ball, yeah. The ball's yeah. rhythm ball. just fuck with yeah. Ridiculous. His yeah. rhythm was um, crazy. But nah, what I really liked about the fight today between Canelo and Mungia was that it was like a Mexican showdown. Yeah. Two of Mexico's best fighters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, argue, I mean, the argument you can make is like the next Canelo and... And Canelo. The king. Yeah. Canelo. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's yeah. like the next one to the throne or... The young bull was old bull, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, you could kind of feel that energy in the fight. You, yeah. know? you could see they were both really uh, intent with what they were doing. And they yeah. both really wanted to make that or prove that statement. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, uh, Canelo is still that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 100%. Yeah, he's he is. still that guy. Yeah. At, at first, <laughs> uh, I was actually watching it with Diddy. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, I wonder if Canelo is as good as what he used to be. He looks like he's maybe not as good. Yeah. This isn't like the first round, first two rounds. I made a pretty early judgment, which yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> we I all do that. Yeah, we yeah. always do that. Like, and always then do he landed yeah. that uppercut in round four, and I was yeah. like, he oh, dropped yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, bro. He, he caught he's, him. He's still with the shit. Yeah, he's still with the shit. The whole fight, he was just yeah, doing his thing, man. Yeah. Like, hitting him, making him miss. His defense is like yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. You know? Too good. He can stand in the pocket and still make you miss. All yeah, the bro, that's yeah. crazy. Which is like so hard to do at that level on that stage. Yeah, is like it's like, like he's like he's like right there. It's just awareness How? That's the thing. How it, it can't just be drills, right? You can't just drill that. Ah, it's, 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 yeah, drills like it's drills and anticipation as well. How do you be so comfortable just in front of like a world champion level yeah. fighter? And just be like, I mean, he's for out the way, you know. Today was his sixty fifth pro fight. I was, I literally was looking at that like sixty five. Yeah, that's yeah, wild. Yeah, wild. Yeah. Wow. And he's fought a lot of good guys. <clears throat> so, Only two losses. Yeah, yeah. And he's literally. Yeah, think about how many styles he's seen and how many yeah. um, you know yeah. different situations yeah. he's yeah. been. Experience, so, right? Experience and and also right. it's like it's like preemptive because you kind of know. The punches are gonna be kind of textbooks almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he just knows his his body and mind knows the settings of. Yeah, what, you've got to finding someone finding someone that that's like that defensively aware. You've yeah. got to have a pretty weird rhythm. Yeah, you know you yeah. can't just throw yeah. punches how you normally would because yeah they can anticipate exactly what's gonna happen. Exactly, yeah. You know, and so. the thing is, because also remember at that level they have time to break down their fighters as well. Yeah, the fight the guy that they're fighting. So he's already defensively really good, and mm. now he's already aware of all the punches that could come and so in the moment he just knows like I, I move you know what I mean yeah, exactly. he kind of knows what's, what's about to come he, exactly. knows his, he knows his traits yeah. like what punches he likes throwing over here for and sure there. yeah for sure. that's why and yeah and just having that those eyes and you know this, that, that, that um, anticipation like you know what the fuck's gonna come right now it's a crazy I mean? yeah he, his yeah. IQ for the game is immaculate yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. but it's so crazy to like just see head movement you know what I mean yeah, yeah. and speaking of, speaking of that um one of my one of my favorite fighters, obviously Terence Crawford and stuff, but like upcoming right uh, Boots Innes, Journal Innes. Oh, Boots. Yes. I remember seeing Boots first profile. <clears throat> um, I, it just randomly popped out on my on my on my um, on my Instagram or oh, YouTube. I was on YouTube and then I told my brother back then. I was like, bro, you need to see who, who this guy's Boots. Yeah, yeah, bro, like he's just a switch he's hitter, on. like Crawford. He's on. Yeah, he yeah, switches yeah. and like power, he, speed, IQ. He's, he's got it all. Yeah. I feel like he's got it all. Man, yeah. that last one where he did that slow motion, so <laughs> you see that shit? That was Damn. so cold, bro. That was the coldest shit I've I ever seen. I was just thinking, like, imagine being on the opposite end of that. Yeah. Come back Like, And the way he rolls with the shots, he just oh, turns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's that, going back to it. He can preempt what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. You know, he'll throw this shot knowing that this one's going to come here, yeah. so he'll move right. here yeah. and he'll come back with this. Like, yeah. he's thinking, like, two, three, four steps ahead. Bro, It's crazy. like that Ben Whitaker. I was just about to yeah. say that. Ben Whitaker's shit. another one. Another style. Like, just styling on everybody. Bro, Ben Ben Whitaker yeah, is yeah. fucking the man, bro. Like, he is, he's yeah. legit. His shit, the way he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro. And, and that's how you build a fan. He had like no follower. He has like a, over a million followers. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. from that one fight where he had that yeah. one barrel moment. But the thing is, look, he's not... He's not doing it for the people. That's just how he does it. I know. That's yeah, just yeah, how yeah, he yeah, fights. That's, yeah. that's what makes it interesting. It's the guys that, that, that try to do it. 
they yeah. end up fucking up mm. somewhere in the round. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. gonna get caught or something, you know? What yeah, I mean? exactly. Because that's not your exactly. natural way of doing things. You're just trying to yeah. show more. Yeah, because that's he's, the thing. Yeah, Ben's it's, comfortable doing that. Yeah, it's yeah, built yeah. in his style. That's what he does every day. I'm pretty sure inspiring, like yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is why he's able to do it. Same with boots, you know it's what I mean? Who they are. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And like um, uh, Ben Whitaker's fuck, bro. Like, if someone booked me in the head like that, bro, and oh, I'm, the I'm just like, I'm going to my corner, like. When he hits me next time, just throw yeah, the towel in. Oh, no, <laughs> just throw the fucking towel in. I'm sorry, just be like, regardless of what happens in this fight, we're jumping him up. Because that's just straight up. Like, I need that Conor Khabib moment. Yeah. I need to jump oh, yeah, in this yeah, bitch. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Everyone, jump his crew. <laughs> fuck, I don't know, oh, jump, his, jump his brother, <laughs> jump someone. <laughs> just get your hands on someone. Just get going, throw some shit. Because fuck that, you're not, you're not going to yeah, boot me in the head and just walk away, nah, bro. Nah, nah, nah. But he... Um, Ben had a real good amateur career too. Yeah, he, he was oh, one guy. Oh I yeah, he, I followed he, all the way through. Yeah, he was uh, he he was in the Olympics as well, right? Yeah, he yeah, got yeah. A bronze. Ah, uh, no, silver. Yeah, silver. Yeah, I watched his I watched his um his um his career his his Olympic career as well. Yeah, yeah. so mm. at my last qualifiers, I fought uh the second guy that I fought from Turkmenistan. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's who Ben beat to get to the finals of one of the world champions. I've seen that. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good. That was a good fight. Yeah, it was. Was that, a pretty good guy, fight. Yeah. Ben obviously yeah. did his thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Was, was he was he styling on, on the guy in the Olympics as well, or was he just a, a, uh, a textbook? Nah, I feel nah. like he's a bit more textbook. Yeah, he was a bit more textbook. He yeah. still had the head movement. You know, still what had I mean? the same with his hands right. low yeah. a little bit yeah. here and there. You know, but. He wasn't like styling on him like that, you know, yeah, like how he is now. Because with the amateurs, you know, you've yeah. every opportunity to score, you've got yeah, to yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I suppose he has to take that serious. Yeah, because that's like, like you said, you know, like Olympic as well. He has to take yeah. all that time to prepare for mm. it, you know. Mm. Yeah. So you can't, yeah. you don't want to fuck around and like miss, miss that opportunity exactly. up. Yeah, exactly. Um, in your in your boxing career, right? Yeah. Uh, looking forward, where do you, how do you see it? Like, how do you see it playing out? Yeah. You know? Are you gonna be like? Yeah. Is your goal to be undisputed champion? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it is. Yeah, but yeah, what yeah is for your sure, goal, for know? sure. I like, mean, my my goal is just to be the best fighter in the world. Yeah, yeah that's that's. That sure. has to be and sure. and, and, yeah, and obviously, yeah. as a pro, uh, is it light heavyweight? Yeah, yeah. As a pro, light heavyweight. Who is in your in your um, eyesight for? Who you reckon you're yeah, gonna be champion fighting? Is like, yeah, which uh, champions or which guys that are coming up now that yeah, are there in the so pros? It's, it's where like, you know, like, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna see that guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight Bivol, that dude. Bivol, Bivol's in your, in they, your yeah, Bivol's like these guys. Oh yeah. shit! But Canelo went up to like. I feel like by the time they're on their way out, because they're like yeah, yeah. into yeah, their thirties like, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I feel like they'll be on their way out as I'm coming up. Yeah. But I feel like someone that's gonna be there is David Benavides. Oh yeah, yeah ben- the Benavides, Ooh. the Mexican monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Benavides, you know Benavides. Yeah. I know, but there's like a, a few Benavides though, right? No, there's, there's two Benavides. That there's two yeah. that are brothers. There's two brothers. Yeah, right. um, but it's the bigger one. Yeah, right. Okay. He's a yeah, he's an animal. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to make him. His hands be crazy. It was that one yeah, that one yeah. where he's like, I was like, oh, like a ten piece and not. Yeah, but he's an animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a good fight with Crawford. I just yeah. You sort of have a feeling, you know? yeah. I feel like I've got this feeling that yeah, we probably will cross paths at some point. Yeah, that's the um, one. Which is exciting. Yeah, you know? that's, that's something I want. I mean, as a fighter, I want to challenge myself. Yeah, and I want to fight the best people that I can fight. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I'm not here to take easy yeah. fights. Yeah. You know? no. So Benavides, but but uh, is there anyone else that you see that's coming up that that you probably meet on the way? Um, like like as like ben- on the Austra- Australasian sort of scene. Yeah, no, this in pros in general. You know, Benavides is one. But we Whitaker. know he's a big name. Whitaker. Whitaker, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's I a lightweight. Yeah, yeah. He's, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Yeah, I feel for like sure, stylistically, yeah. we actually match quite well. That would be so sick. That would be, be fucking so sick. Yeah, bro. That would be so <laughs> sick. <laughs> you know, that would be sick. Bro, yeah, yeah, Taz is yeah. one of the coldest ones, bro. Like, yeah, that that yeah, one, that, that yeah. ABA fight, bro, You that was so yeah, slick, bro. You just boom, yeah. and you're up there. I'm like, oh. Yeah, man. Let's go, bro. Honestly, there's a few guys... Um. I mean, it's it's always changing, you know. Yeah, it's always yeah. new guys, new yeah. faces coming into the yeah. scene and that yeah. sort of thing. But yeah, I to be honest, I don't even care who's yeah. there when I go. That's you know? it. That's I, what's I, up. I've got my eyes set on the yeah. prize. That's what's that's up. It. Anyone that's in front of me, that's yeah. Just they can get home. it. Anyone yeah. can get it. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. So um, going back to my goal, yeah, just yeah. just uh, being the best fighter in the world and just being the best that I can be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds kind of cliche, but. Right, yeah, cliche, like, but that's true, right? That that's true. It's the truth. truth. Yeah. You know, I want to yeah. literally just be better every day. Yeah. And wherever that takes me, I'll leave it in whoever's hands that's yeah, yeah, yeah. in control. Yeah. Now nah, yeah. it's gonna be fucking yeah, ye
I feel like I've had so many visions of you know what's going to happen down the track mm, it's yeah. more just like when it's going to happen when yeah, 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 you know, yeah, I've already yeah. seen the whole storyline yes, yeah. I've already visualised yes, it it's just one of those things like okay yeah so it might happen but I'm getting chills right now bro. Later. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, like, you just know. Yeah. You know you know you can yeah. feel it and uh, there's nothing stronger than having that self belief and seeing those visuals because yeah. it's like you see it and that shit's clear mm. yeah it's like I've, I've had visions of I have this all the time bro I don't know if you see when I'm running on the treadmill yeah I've got my headphones in every time I'm doing that I'm picturing my walkouts so I'll play yeah. a song and I'm picturing the exact walkout bro. and I'm picturing the setting I'm picturing the arena I'm picturing walking to the arena yes, yeah. getting my gear on like to a T yeah you know what I mean and even like that moment of when you do get your hand raised mm. you know yeah. and new yeah that yeah. type thing I visualize yeah, that that's shit all the, the one. time yeah. bro that's so buzzy said cause like you, you see me every time I'm always with my headphones mm, mm, and I'm playing yeah. those certain musics that take me there yeah. and, I'm, and I'm thinking about I'm constantly thinking about how I'm gonna be in that fight yeah. the walkout I'm listening to all the songs mm. that, that are potentially my walkout songs and, and I'm visualizing because I I catch the bus and I always walk everywhere whether yeah. I'm on the bus yeah. I don't know it's weird it's such a vibe mm. just sitting on that bus and I'm on the way home yeah. after a hard session I'm on the bus I'm on the it way brings home. you back to being a little kid yeah you know? it's yeah. crazy it's bro exciting. and like yeah. and like I'm listening and I'm always always constantly just visualizing um, what, how, how my walkout's gonna be how I feel you know what mm. I mean what, what kind mm. of energy I'm gonna bring when I'm backstage, I'm just getting ready to warm up. When I'm yeah. hitting the pads, the sound of the pads, the mm. feel when my, mm. when I'm hitting when I'm hitting the pads, when I'm kicking the yeah. pad, and then when my opponent's standing across from me in the ring, and how I feel, and For and sure. I and I'm visualized. I don't know how I'm gonna win, but I know I'm gonna beat him, and I'm yeah. and my hands getting raised. And certain times, I I play certain sequences out in my in my in my head yeah. of what yeah. I'm gonna do with this guy in, yeah. in the ring. So here's a, here's a real good um, video I watched. Yeah. Of a GSP. Yeah. So yeah. I watched this a couple of weeks ago, right? Mm. So. <clears throat> you know, like in the day, so say you're two weeks out from a fight. Yeah. In the day, you could be driving, you could be shopping. Mm. You're going to have little skits of the fight. Mm. You're going to have yeah. little, like, little um, yeah. visualizations. Yeah. He was saying what a lot of people do is they'll have these visualizations and something might not be going their way in the fight. Yeah. Mm. And they'll just be like, oh shit, how do I make it stop? And they'll just ignore it. But what GSP was saying is every time something like that happens when you're visualizing it, mm. you've got to overcome it with your imagination mm. so say this is an example I'm in a fight I get knocked down in round two yes. I'm going to now visualise getting up from that knockdown coming back and winning the fight, the fight and I'm going to yeah. see it vividly yeah. not that that's going to happen yeah. but in whatever case that does happen yeah. I've seen it you've seen it yeah, exactly. you've seen it happen yes. so yeah that's a mistake I feel like I used to make was if I'm visualising and yeah something goes wrong I'm just like no. Oh, no, fuck that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, want to think yeah, about it anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, how do I get back to the happy stuff? Yeah, yeah. You know? that's how I, my brain works. You know, yeah. I feel yeah. like that's natural, right? It's natural, yeah. like, oh, what if yeah. I get knocked out? Or like, no, 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 no. You know, like, yeah. you gotta rewire your yeah, brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what yeah, if I get yeah, dropped? Yeah, what if I get hurt? What if I get like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. That, that's what I do once I, I, really I once I can't overcome it I'm always yeah. just thinking about like no 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 I can't think of that I'm yeah, gonna do yeah, this yeah. I'm gonna do that positive positive yeah, positive. yeah, 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 yeah exactly yeah, yeah. 100%, 100%. Yeah. I mean that's a natural reaction for everyone you of know? course yeah. of course but I, I, I play out the, uh, not play out I, I feel like alright he's gonna kick me how this leg kick mm. how is it gonna feel you know I'm gonna be ready for it all everything that he's gonna you hit me be. with and, and yeah, what, how yeah. I do it is like I would I would play out when he hits me hard how I'm gonna react to it mm. That way I'm ready for it. I'm preempting my brain ready for it. Cause because you know, no one's gonna kick you before before you go out there, you know what I mean? Exactly. No right. one's gonna hit exactly. you. So yeah, I need yeah. to but inspiring rounds you already feel that. So I bring that that same pain vividly in my mm. body, mm. what it's gonna feel like so that I'm ready. Now now when I walk out there and he kicks me in that low kick, I'm like, I was already yeah. ready, I already felt yeah. it. You know, I already had it two rounds ago. And I like how you're talking about feeling because like one of the most underrated things about manifestation, mm. and this is real important too, yeah. is like when you are visualizing something, it's real important to visualize the emotions you're going to be feeling mm. and how you're going to you be feeling to. in that moment. Because people think of manifestation, they're like, oh, yeah, big house, nice yeah, cars. Yeah. How are you going to be feeling driving that car? You know, How's yeah. it going to feel when you're laying in your big house? Yeah. You know, you've got to imagine exactly. these things. Yeah. That's so crazy because I, 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 it took me years because I used to live on my own right for a long time and, and I spent so much time isolated. Mm. Like I, I, sp- I hardly ever see them they they've been here for like my brothers my brother and my sister like my sister's been here for a long time yeah i've been in the country for like uh, 10 years 11 years mm. um the first five years that i lived on my own i never i never i, I hardly ever saw them yeah. i just lived in my own bubble 
And it's so difficult to live <clears> on your own because when you're on your own, you're in your own thoughts. Like I've built so much, yeah, uh, yeah. I've, I've learned so much about myself because you, I said you go home, there's no one there. It's just you. Like how long can you scroll for? You get bored. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? So now everything that's going on in life, whether it's shit day, what, whatever you come back, yeah, it's yeah. you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So then I, I just I just learned how to visualize so much more deeply because there's nothing, there's no noise, it's quiet, yeah, it's just yeah. you. There's not no one else in the because I live in a one bedroom apartment yeah, by myself. Yeah. So it's literally no one there. There's no flatmates. Yeah, yeah. There's not a sure. single person no in, in my house. No interaction like with yeah, no one. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I've learned how to visualize that way. I used to sit in the dark. I turn the lights off. Mm. And I have my headphones on. I play whatever music, and I cry. I cried so many times. Mm. I've mm. cried so many times, visualizing that so deeply. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because you feel you know, it. Yeah, and also and being grateful it's, it's for what. Yeah. yeah, and man. also being grateful for what where I am, yeah, where yeah, I came yeah. from, where I am. For sure. And also, like knowing that that um, it's gonna happen. I know it is. I can feel it. I'm, I'm yeah, there. Yeah. You know, I, mean, I felt it so vividly. It's crazy mm. how vividly mm. you feel. I'm fucking getting goosebumps, you know, and I cry. And that's how I know it's real. Yeah. That's when you know you're really exactly. manifesting that Deep shit. Deep down, you know, it's there. Yeah. Yeah, for you sure. You know, because you've touched sure. it there. You know what I mean? You've been there. Yeah. And I love yeah, sitting yeah. in the dark. It's one of those things I like doing. Even in my room now, I like yeah. just sitting in the dark and just like, just shutting everything out. You know yeah. what I mean? Play, play yeah. certain like, like music, like sounds. I just play mm, certain mm. sounds, you know what I mean? Even like white noise. Yeah, white noise. Or even like, like there's yeah, some, yeah. some um, Egyptian like flute kind of music. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. play that and just, just zone out, you know what I mean? I'll put a little cone or whatever, you know, yeah. some days, you know? Yeah. You know what I started doing um, before fights is <laughs> yeah. I listen to drum noises now. Oh, wow. Drum noises. Drum yeah. noises. Just like, so. Not like, drum, not like, like your band drums. Yeah, right, More right. like um, warrior drums. Oh, oh shit! So yeah, yeah, yeah. When I yeah. went to Italy, we went to um, where they used to have the the arenas with the mm. Colosseum. Colosseum. Oh, oh, oh Colosseum? you went to the Colosseum? Not there. Not the Colosseum, right, right. but like a, a Colosseum. Yeah, Colosseum. Colosseum. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, man, you walk down these oh, tunnels shit. and you get goosebumps going <laughs> yeah. down the shit because you can just you, you can almost put yourself in these guys' shoes of like being yeah. a warrior and yeah. walking out to fight to the death. The death. But wow. They were explaining it to us that so basically when they're walking through the tunnels. Mm. Behind them is just stampedes of just drums, just oh. like that type of thing. Wow. And it gave me goosebumps when they were telling me about it. And as humans, going back in time to our ancestors, yeah. mm. when you hear the sound of drums, that's us getting ready to fight. That's uh, us getting ready to get fight. Yeah. You know? War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So coming, before yeah. a fight, I would just have little moments where I just listen to drums mm. and it's just bringing me into my, letting me tap into my ancestry. Yeah. You know, and bringing that warrior spirit out. Yeah. Tell that energy. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for I'm this. ready yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, it's going to a, to a dark place. I, I said this, even in bodybuilding, like, mm. or, or just mm. competing, right? I, I need to, I, I go to a dark place because I've been through a lot of shit in my life. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. So I go to those places and I pull from that dark place. You know what I mean? Like, it's like all that pain, all that, all the shit that you're seeing. You know, I've been homeless. I've been all type of shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I go there and I and I, and I pull from there. Mm. I pull mm. from all that pain that I've seen yeah, in my life, yeah. and I go there. And it almost brings tears to my eyes. And you gotta I, and use I, it as motivation. That's it. I yeah. use that to push me. You know what yeah. I mean? I use that to bring to my fight. Be like, yeah. That's now that I'm ready. Feels you, 100%. Yeah, and I listen to like certain music that that takes me there. You know, like yeah, yeah. Evanescence is one of those songs. Evanescence, uh, bring me back mm. to bring me to life. Yeah. 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 It's one of those. It's just the, the drums and then the, the mm, piano. Mm. Dee, dee. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that yeah, shit yeah, takes yeah, me yeah. there, bro. And there's yeah. another one that I walk out to. It's like <clears throat> Machine Guy Kelly and DMX. It's called Demons. Okay. Uh, I, um, it's just such a dark thing. I'll play it for you after the podcast. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that'll probably be one of the ones you, you, you put on in your headphones, bro. Yeah. Trust me, that shit will take you there. Nah, I'll be kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like tapping into that kind of dark energy, mm, you know, it kind mm. of like, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, sort of found, I've sort of found with me, it depends, you know, mm. like depends on the the environment, situation, mm. who I'm fighting, mm. is what type of energy I'm going to bring. Because yeah. I have had fights where I've been real dark and, you know, angry and I want to yeah. hurt this guy and then yeah. I go in there and I'm overly aggressive. Ah, yeah, yeah, fight. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I should have been calm and just picked him off from the yeah. back foot. Yeah. But then yeah. I've had fights where I've gone in maybe too calm yeah. when I needed to be aggressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like being able to figure Find out when balance. to be which, yeah. you know, but... Yeah. I'm sort of like I think I'm figuring out slightly mm. and slowly what my balance is and yeah, I think yeah. it's just like when I'm happy and um, just obsessed with that winning feeling yeah you know, I, I just yeah. when I fight just just keep reminding yourself just win 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 yeah, win win, win. win. Yeah. every yeah. exchange every small exchange you know yeah. like even um, when you're facing off to touch gloves don't be the win first that. one to look away right. win that yeah. stand your mark straight yes. away yeah. you know yeah. my yes. ring 
this is yeah. mine. You're in my space. Yeah. yeah. You know, that type of thing. Um, but what I do is sometimes before fights, uh, you know that nostalgia? You know the word nostalgia? Back to manifestation. When you guys were talking about it, I wanted to bring it up, but then I, I couldn't uh, chime in. Yeah. But Conor McGregor talked about it as well. Mm -hmm. He said whenever he, he would... His, his documentary on Netflix, not the new one, the old one, it's called Notorious, is oh, so yes. like, yeah. inspiring. Man. Yeah, like, he has yeah, like yeah. old footage of him living like his little apartment and everything. Yeah. And he would say, like he would sit in his Toyota Corolla or whatever and, and hold the steering wheel and yeah. visualize it being like a Lambo or something, right? He said he yeah. would feel it. He yeah, would believe yeah, it fully. Yeah. And McGregor is one guy where I feel like he truly manifested his life. Oh, like, yeah. His 100%. belief about everything is so strong. You can feel mm, it. Mm. And the way he speaks about anything, right? You, you know Prime, he Prime McGregor it. was undefeated. Yeah. yeah I mean, not McGregor now. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah, McGregor. Right right talking about the old one. Yeah. That, that old yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. that he... Yeah. He had the strongest mindset in all combat sports. Straight, Straight up. Yeah, I Straight believe up. Without yeah. doubt, yeah. And like, I believe Israel has that too. Yeah, oh, oh bro. I believe Israel yeah. has that bro, too. Bro, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Izzy definitely has that. I mean, like, yeah. think about it, like, from nowhere. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. when the China was supposed to get beat up by all these guys, you know what I mean? The self-belief that he needed to have mm. to even, to be in this country and not be a native and, and also, like, like he said, you know what I mean? Because he was black, he was treated different. To have all these things, all these chips on your shoulder and, yeah. and also, like, the, the sport is not backed by by your government or no governing body yeah, wants to exactly. back it. You know what I mean? Exactly. For him to have that self belief, that deep self belief that nah, I'm I'm gonna be the greatest. I am mm, the greatest. Mm. I'm the goat. You you guys you are gonna, gonna find out it. soon. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So yeah, he he would have had to manifest that shit. Yeah. Every day of and his he, life. And he's he's taught me so many lessons about it too. Yeah, and I bet know, I bet like he has. He, he did this. <laughs> this is one thing that was actually real cool. Yeah. Um, talking about. Conor McGregor being in the car, yeah, imagining yeah, it. Yeah. Israel once he was like he had his Rolex on. Yeah. Um, he got it was one of the ones that he got given when he went to Saudi. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and he yeah. was like, oh here Taj, put this on, like just hold on to this for me. But then when he gave it to me, he was like, now just feel it, just just like yeah. get used to having that on your wrist. Yeah. It was like mm -hmm. something along the lines of saying that he was like, um, just uh, yeah, feel it. Like this is this is what you're gonna be. Yeah. dealing with in the future this is what you're going to be yeah. you know, inviting yeah. in the future you're going yeah. to have these type of things Yeah. so get used to it now and then when it comes it's like oh, I've already yeah. been, I've already been yeah. 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 yeah that's wow, such that's a beautiful thing sick, man. Man. <laughs> yeah it that was cool sick. it was yeah. really cool and I was just like oh shit Rolex on my wrist stop bitches I was like going up to go for eight all the time I'm sorry sorry give me a phone <laughs> Two men, baby. Oh, <laughs> hey, when you come back. We gotta go three men, baby. Oh, Let's go. To. I'm there. I'm have pulling to. up. Have I'm to. pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, sick. Nah, it was cool. Yeah. It was cool. It's just like there's little certain things that he said to me. And he's taught me a lot. You know, he's yeah. taught me a lot about. I, I've learned a lot from him just from watching him from afar. You know what I mean? Like. Listening to <clears throat> the things he he says, yeah, you know, I've learned just so much just from off, um, just watching him, for sure, just listening to him. You know, what I mean, yeah, a lot of people no. don't listen to him. Mm. They just, mm. they just. Well, people write him off. You know, yeah, like, yeah, they write him off, off and, and they don't know who he is. Yeah, yeah. and also because uh, like, like he speaks from his heart, and yeah. sometimes it might come off as like whatever. You know what I mean? People, people yeah. just hold on to that bit yeah. instead of getting the lesson from it. But like, like, what people don't realize is like, that's him. You know, he's entitled yeah, to his opinion. Exactly. exactly. But, but yeah. did you get the lesson though? You know what exactly. I mean? Like, exactly. Like, yeah, okay, whatever. You, you, like, did you, did you hear what he said? Yeah. Did, did you, did you pick on the yeah. gems that he, and he's you got to think, of? everyone's got a different way of communicating because everyone's got different life experiences. 100%. Everyone was brought up completely differently. Yeah. yeah. So, the way I explain something you might not understand it the yeah. way that I understand it. Yeah, and that's it. I'm okay with that because you've got your experiences, you've got your views, your yeah, morals, yeah, whatever it is. Same yeah. goes to you. Yeah. You know? So, um, one thing I used to get real frustrated with this, and this is like just the internal thing I had was like, I'm trying to explain something to someone and I'm like, I really want them to understand it and see it the way that I see it. Yeah. But then I uh, did over time realize that, yeah, people aren't going to see it yeah. the way I do. You, you just, yeah. it's, it's more like, it's more like, all right, here it is. Take it how you want. Do it. what you want with yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Take yeah, it how you want is, it. This yeah. is what I see. Yeah. Here you go. Take it how yeah. you want it. However you're gonna yeah, digest yeah, yeah. it, up to you. And it's yeah. helped me so much with everything, like you know, relationships and mm. whatever it is. You know, I'm a lot more patient and yeah, yeah. being a lot more accepting of people as yeah. well. Like, yeah. I I don't like to write people off. Mm. I always like to give people a chance, and yeah. I like to um, 
I guess, accept people for who they are. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. especially unique individuals. Cause yeah. It's interesting to me, yeah. you know, and yeah. I feel like there's so many lessons to learn out of so many different people. Yeah. You know, you just got to be able to see it. Exactly. You know, yeah, a lot of sure. people just automatically are just like, ah, oh, I don't like him. I don't even want to. Yeah. 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 It's like, yeah. there's lessons to be learned everywhere. From everyone. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's something you can learn from everyone, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? You might not like the person, but there's something you can pick from him. You know what I mean? Exactly right. And, and like, you just, like writing people up is crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe I, his I, energy might not match with you. That's cool. Like, you don't have to yeah, hate on him. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you can like, Keep your distance. We'll it doesn't distance. match. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's that simple. Like yeah. you don't have to hate on someone. You know what I mean? Like it took yeah. me a long time to learn that too. Cause mm. I like we've we've all been haters. Like yeah, every single course, person, we're course. all haters. We all judge people um, off bat, off rip. We're yeah. always, we always yeah. are. But a lot, as long as you're aware of it, exactly. You know, you're able to be like, nah, let's not pull do yourself it. up. Yeah, you yeah. can, you can be like, nah, hundred percent. Because your brain is, 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 is human nature. To we, we judge everyone immediately. Yeah. Immediately, we always do. Of course. You know what I mean? Like, of course. Like I do too. Mm. But then it's just having the ability to, and awareness. Like, okay, I know you're judging him now, but let's not judge him. Because yeah. how many times I, I've judged people, and then when I get to know him, I'm like, fuck, this dude is a cool yeah. dude. Yeah, the fuck? man. The fuck? Yeah, I actually yeah, thought, yeah. I actually thought, like, oh, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. You know what I mean, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. But then when you speak to him, I'm like, whoa, this dude is fucking cool as shit. The yeah. fuck am I talking Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, literally, literally. So, yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know, being accepting. Even when, like, I'm in a group of my mates and, mm. um, you know, everyone's, like, shit talking to someone. Yeah. There's a point where I'm just like, wait, what? I don't know. I'm not getting anything out of this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I catch myself we, like we that. I catch myself the, lacking too like that. Me, we were at the fights yesterday and we there was a guy, well, I'm not going to say, who, I don't even yeah, know who yeah, that was, yeah. but yeah. there was a guy who was just constantly talking shit about yeah. He, he drains yeah. the CKB as well. Yeah. But he's constantly just talking shit about all the other fighters. And everybody. Yeah. Just like, why is this bro. guy a hater, bro? Yeah. <laughs> like, just why are you such yeah, a, what are you getting from that? Exactly. You know? yeah. Yeah. So when that happens, I, I started just like just shutting myself off. Yeah. I, 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 I told you can, myself. You can talk what you want. I'm not going to contribute. Yeah. I didn't say that. I was like, I tell yeah, my mom, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Someone find this guy inspiring, bro. He was talking like he just fully ignored him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm about to find this dude inspiring, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to light your ass up. Like, yeah. These people going into the cage, they're risking, they're putting it all it's hard. Yeah. You know? yeah, whether you like the fight or the fight's going good or not good, these motherfuckers train their ass off to get in there. Yeah, bro, they're like, in like there. they're more men than, than you. They're like, fuck. There. He's in there fucking actually fighting for real, for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This ain't no amateur fight either. These are some pro fighters. Yeah, exactly. Like, fuck that. I'm not talking shit about no one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. I'll give my opinion and, you know what I mean? Like, they could have done this, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah but, but shitting on them is a different thing. Giving your opinion, like, oh, he could have done this or like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, or he, I think he could I have think, done, yeah, or yeah. I think this could have happened, you know? Yeah. That's or different. just speaking on the facts of how the fight went. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is which is completely fine. But shitting on them, on someone is crazy. Yeah. You know, exactly. and I've done that too. I'm exactly. guilty of it. Yeah. And I've been yeah. called out. Because <laughs> 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 right, King of the Ring, like, when King of the Ring, when, when Diddy, um, uh, Diddy had that knockdown. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Out, I didn't know. Tony, Tony, uh, Angelo, Tony was, um, Tony was a referee. Oh. So I came back. I didn't know Tony was a referee. So I was, I started going, oh, who the fuck is that referee? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I went oh. off. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> was it Tony Angelo? Yeah. yeah. Oh. He was yeah. a ref. A- a- yeah. Lucky did a mistake. We, he, he, we started talking shit about the ref on the podcast. Yeah. And it went out. And obviously when we, we posted the podcast talking about King yeah. King, we tagged all the fighters. Yeah. All, yeah. Everyone. Yeah. And everybody shared it. And because they shared it, I guess yeah. everybody, everybody somehow watched yeah. that clip of Lucky uh, shitting on the ref. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Tony wasn't too happy about it. Yeah, <laughs> no, Tony didn't know did about it. No, no, oh. Tony didn't know about it. Um, the thing was everyone else. Yeah. Like, right. so I mentioned, like, yeah, you know that was Tony as well. I was like, oh. Fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh fuck, you just my bad. You into the yeah, but, that, but that's that's the buzzing thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, you just told me. And then, nah, the huge was like, nah, nah, you know, brother, he just, he was nice about it, you know what I mean? Like, next time, just be careful. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And, I, I, and um, Eden told me that first, and I told Eden, like, you know, I'm sorry, mm. bro, like, it was my mm. bad, I didn't know. Yeah. And, I, I, and then, um, so it's like, it was like, what happened was like, it was, um, Two months later, so I think the video was circular. Someone would have sent it in the group chat or something because I don't think he'd be watching the podcast or you know seeing any of the clips. So <laughs> he doubled maybe, back. Maybe. He's like, "Don't do that again." And I didn't like, "Do what?" I, I got nervous. I was like, "What the fuck did I do?" I was like, "Do oh, what?" He didn't even say any context. No, no, no. He's like, "Don't do that again," because he would have just seen the video. Oh. 
but not realizing it was like King was of the Ring from back, back yeah, 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 from way back then, like two oh, months ago. Oh shit! And I was like, I was like, what? Do what? He's like, you know what you did. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like I was like, no, I don't know what happened. And then, and then it clicked because Huge called yeah, me two yeah. weeks ago, and Huge was late too. Huge came to me two months later as well, oh. and then it hit me. I was like. Oh, are you talking about the video? He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry, bro. I was like, I didn't know at the time. Yeah, and yeah. that, 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 bro, my heart sunk, bro. And yeah, I felt like, yeah. I felt like a dickhead because that's my idol. Nah, you know, I know, I know it's yeah. calm, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, like, I understand it because it's yeah. respecting But that, that was <laughs> crazy. Yeah. That was crazy. That, I was so, yeah, back to talking shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm never talking shit about no one no well, more. <laughs> thank you for sharing yours. I'm yeah. not going to share my talking shit. <laughs> I, I can share mine because like the whole fucking world knows. Like, yeah. <laughs> if Izzy knows, the whole fucking world knows, bro. Like, yeah, 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 it's out there. It's, it's out there. Like you know, so I can talk about it. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that happened. <laughs> and um, yeah, now I reached out. The, the funniest part, I reached out to Tony. I was like, I wrote this long and I said, my brother, I'm so mm-hmm. sorry. I didn't know. Just in the moment. You know, like because Diddy's my guy. You know what I mean? Like, in the moment, I just said, da, 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 da. I sent him all these things, all love, whatever. Tony, Tony just replied. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, I was just trying to say, is that what he said? <laughs> That's what he said. Is that what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no, I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, like, oh. Uh, nah, don't worry about it. <laughs> so wrong, yeah. wrong, wrong I was like, fuck. I was like, oh, um, yeah, just Eugene is he already yeah. like that? I just told him, you know what happened. He's like. Low. <laughs> oh, uh, like, nah, because Tony's a genuine guy. He would be. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's more but, everyone else just like. But I was like, from. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, this, this is fucked. Like, yeah. He's just probably laughing his ass off at me right yeah, now. Yeah, he's probably like, what's this guy now, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> So that that's how it, that went. So I was yeah, like, oh, that's cool. Everyone yeah, else made it like bigger than it was. Yeah. Um, sure, yeah Tony was cool with it. So I was I was relieved that Tony is like cool with it. So yeah, like, oh, I, cool. I didn't know about all that. I didn't yeah. even know yeah, Tony yeah. was a referee. That's insane. Yeah. It was all because of Diddy. <laughs> 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 that motherfucker. <laughs> I stood up for oh, you, motherfucker. <laughs> I had your back. <laughs> I went against Goliath for you. <laughs> you went against everyone. Bro. I went against everyone for you. you turned into an awful the <laughs> And speaking of oh, that, shit. Um, yeah, uh, you and my altar fight. Mm-hmm. You and my fucking opponent's corner. <laughs> <laughs> this is the funniest shit. This is the funniest shit. We were working a game plan together. I was working my South Pole. We yeah, we, were. we worked the game plan, the whole shit. And then I was like, yeah, sweet ass. And then yeah. um, <clears throat> fight night comes along. <clears throat> I know Diddy's in my corner, Squirt's in my corner. <laughs> I see this motherfucker walking out with bags. <laughs> who was I, who was I paired with? I was, <laughs> uh, who, was it broke? It wasn't James Varkey, was it? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Who was in your uh, with you? You were in my corner when I well, with yeah, James. Yeah, with James. Yeah, 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 yeah you were yeah, in this yeah. corner. But I had uh, who did you have? Gina or Nixon Kevin? maybe? Oh no, you had Janae. That's right. You had Janae. Yeah, yeah. Janae. I remember. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, I remember yeah, looking. Yeah. I remember looking through outside of the and, yeah. I could, <laughs> and I could hear him giving bad advice. I'm like, no, I'm nah. this right. But the advice was working to your favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was. was teaching you. I was it like, was. yeah, Baz, just drift to your right a little bit. It was. It was. <laughs> Not that good. Like it worked on that. <laughs> it was. Because when and the good thing was everything he was saying, I was picking up on what he was yeah, saying. Yeah, like, ah, yeah. Sweet chop, bro. <laughs> that was. Oh, I hate being in the. Nah, that was the funniest shit. It's got to be tough, right? Oh, of course, because like yeah. Yeah. I'm helping this guy train for a fight, and I want to see him win because yeah. I've seen the preparation. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And then yeah. to rock up on fight night and be in the opposite <laughs> corner, yeah. it's just it's, like it's gotta be the worst. <laughs> why? Thing <I've> <laughs> why are you doing nah, this to me? It was all it was. It was funny. It was funny to me. Yeah, it's experience. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's experience. Experience. It was so funny because after about like. That's crazy. Yeah. I was training with Taz this whole time for him to be in my dad's corner. It was almost like an indication. All right, how much did Lucky actually remember from our training? Yeah. And that, was, that was what it was for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I didn't go southpaw too much. Because um, yeah. he went southpaw and he was, he was chopping my leg, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, in a fight, you've got to be yeah. able to make adjustments Yeah, the and fight. the thing was, like, I, I made him bigger than he was in my head. You know what I mean? So when I went in there, I wasn't fighting like how far. I was, like, mm. too, like, mm. here. Like, I'm usually, you know, a bit more, like, um, loose yeah yeah, 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 so yeah. When, I went, when I went into my kickboxing fight I was a lot more like you know yeah. using my eyes a lot more I like using my eyes yeah but and what we did we drilled like basically just one game plan yeah but you want to have like an A, B, C, D yeah yeah because there's going to be moments when game plan A doesn't work mm. you'll go to game plan B yeah B's not working you might go to C C's yeah. not working you might have to go back to but, A but, but the, then, the right. things we worked you know when we're backing up to the cage that drifting off you mm-hmm. know that's boom boom to the side 
Yeah, that that really helped me in the fight. Yeah, moving, yeah. moving. It was just giving you more options. Yeah, you know, that get, that helped options. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really helped me a lot. Yeah. Like, to like how you told me how to um, when you when you're backing up, you get to the cage, open up like square, and yeah. then you move. That you gave yourself so a lot much. more time as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That really yeah. helped me so much because I started moving, and then Diddy. I was obviously I had a game plan with Diddy as well. So yeah, in conjunction with both, they both helped me. Like so, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. I appreciate you nah, for that, though. Sick. For yeah, real, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, and that's we gotta cool. get more working. I want to get more working. Sure. Work this out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Just get we'll, some tricks we'll, in the yeah, back. Definitely when I'm back from Thailand and yeah, settle back in 100. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, All right, we'll pretty much wrap it up. Yeah, we'll wrap it up. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll ask you one last question before. Yeah. This, I'm copying most podcasters here. Yeah, yeah. How how do you want to be remembered when it's all said and done? What kind of accolades do you want to have? What kind of you know? What do you I, see when not it's Not even that, accolades, just uh, yeah, yeah, how do you want to be person, remembered when it's all said and done? I want to be the person that was an inspiration to many, mm. you know, whether younger or older. Yeah. I want to, <clears throat> I just want people to remember my personality because I know I've got a unique personality. Yeah. Definitely. Not in an arrogant way at all. Definitely. Yeah. But I know the way I am is um unique and it's something different and I want, I want to have a trademark of my own. Yeah. You know, I still don't think I've figured it out yet yeah, what my yeah. trademark will be. Yeah. But I know it's there. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. yeah, at the end of the day, um, just to be an inspiration to people and yeah, just have um have that trademark and I yeah. will figure it out. Yeah. 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 And yeah. we know you will most definitely. For Thank sure. you so much for coming nah, on to the podcast, you brother. So much me on. You're you're a young legend, you're 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 coming up in the game <clears> and you've got a, such a bright future, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're super fucking talented. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. And uh, thank you for nah, coming on the podcast. Sick, this well, is Blade and C. That's so Taj Cargo. Lucky. We're out. Peace. Two men, baby. <laughs>